You're listening to WZYE 95.9 FM. You are listening to WZYE 95.9 FM. The most influential name in Caribbean radio in the tri-state area. Broadcasting from East Orange, New Jersey. The most influential name in Caribbean radio. WZYE 95.9 FM. From ever since time began, has been inflicted time and time and again by man against fellow man. Yet man wouldn't learn from history, it makes him more violent. Producing deadly weaponry with nothing but evil intent. So the war could never be over, peace will never be seen. Long as man in his quest for power keep destroying. Hello human being, hello human being, I tell you nobody, nobody, oh nobody, when you really think of it, nobody wins a war, because the agony of defeat will linger, they shall still hate him, one another and superpowers, they're looking for more power. Well, in the hearts of men, brother, the war will go on. It cannot be won. No, 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 the war will go on. It cannot be won. Fall out from more is chaos. Plenty agony, plenty pain. The economy is left in shambles that may never rise up again. Collapse of the money system. Disruption of foreign trade, people turning against their leaders for the blunders that they have made. Environmental pollution, radiation taking its course, and the thousands that die in battle for what a waste of human resources. Of course, I tell you, nobody, nobody. Oh, when you really think of it, nobody wins a war. The brutal clash of ideologies, carnage and social anarchy, and life reduced to pitiful dimension. The falling back of progress and growth for our entire generation. Sister, the war will go on. It cannot be won. No, 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 the war will go on. War is just like a racket, it pays dividends for a few. But what does it profit the masses? I mean, laymen like me and you. While the leaders play in their chess games. Using the masses as pawn with political propaganda. The massacre still goes on. The soldiers, they never start it, but they give their lives easily. While the leaders are in a safe place working on strategy. So you see, I'm telling you, nobody, nobody, oh, Nobody wins a war. It has been the passage of history with the blood of the weak and the mighty. Great, great cultures vanish completely. War can create and destroy political boundaries as it goes on. Sister, it cannot be won. The war will go on. No, 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 the war will go on. It cannot be won. 
not a boy simple. We just conquer and take over. It doesn't matter how many people get wiped out in the massacre. The enemy must be vanquished. The battle has to be won. But the conflict will never be over. Cause the agony lingers on. There'll always be more dictators, more Hitlers, more Saddam Hussein. And with these lunatics in power, it will just dance all over again. And again, I'm telling you nobody, nobody, oh, nobody, when you really think of it, nobody wins a war. It's a spiritual revolution to stop this brutal aggression. Oh, it's peace in the world will always be out of our hands. As long as the quest for wealth and power still live in the hearts of man, brother, you all will go on. It cannot be won. No, 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 you all will go on. It cannot be won. You all will go on. Peace in the world. We need a spiritual revolution. Lord, put a hand, take the children. Man fighting against the Let me say a special hello to all the WZY 95.9 FM listeners, of course, ladies and gentlemen. It's not at an individual with the dark triplet on WZY 95.9 FM. And we come to you every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from 6 to 9 p.m. That's Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from 6 to 9 p.m. Let me bring in no other than the other one-third of the three-thirds. Three-thirds, I should say, right? Or, or, or three-thirds, right? Of the dark triplets, no other than Diana, Waveney, Benskin, the storm, Donald <laughs> Boy. Again, some Remember mild from... feedback for you. Scra mild scratching. Very yeah, yeah. mild. Yeah, like yeah. rain falling. It's not like rain falling. Yeah, yeah, but I'll I, I, I fix the thing a little bit. Oh, uh, but ain't sounding too clear. <laughs> yeah, but I know the rain's song put on these things a little bit. Uh 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 uh. Song in the. Uh... So folks, folks in the chat, is it something very scratchy? Because I told normally change something. Yep, like scratchy. I, I'm I'm not hearing it clear. Like about the song I was hearing, I was hearing the song clear, but I'm not hearing you clear now. Good night, La Lana. Hold up, hold up. Lana, how it is in the arm? Y'all hearing scratchiness from Anselm? Let him know. Are you all hearing me scratchy? Lana. She's going to respond. Do you know it's a delay? I want to see if it's me or if it's you. Are you all hearing Anselm scratchy? Are you hearing a scratchiness in the background on the broadcast? Somebody put in, yes, they're hearing. Yes. Yes, Anselm. Yes. Yeah, you scratch it. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So whatever it is you do, on do. Yeah, you, you had it. You made it. Oh, 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 oh. It was bad just now. Good now. No, relax. Um, Thank you. Um, that is hard on your ears. 
Let me see. It's, ha it's have a feedback now. Okay. Um, all right. So I've got to do it all that for now. And then see what happens. Something will have to be done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Only, only if I should go just. Mm. I'm going to try something. Eh? Oh, boy. No, that might not work. All yeah. right, I will leave it. So, I will leave it so for tonight. Okay. It's really guy. hard, really hard on the ears. <laughs> I gotta get a guy. Yeah, I gotta get the engineer to come back here and, and, and fix up something. But anyway, folks, it's in the village with the dark triplets on WZY ninety five point nine FM. Of mm -hmm. course, we come to you every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from six to nine PM. That's Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from six to nine PM. Maybe I could put this. No, here. don't put nothing else. <laughs> If this could go straight into this thing here, that might work. Let me see something. Uh, nah, all right. All right. This is what is this here? Hold on. Eh? This is stereo. This is the mic. Maybe if I plug this into here, that might work. I see what I see how that works. Anyway, folks, it's in the village with the dark triplets on WZY 95.9 FM. Just trying to fix it up here to see if um we can get to, to the, the call that that that's trying to fix the call stuff. But anyway, of course, um the big thing today is that um Russia invaded um Ukraine and um uh, and oh and oh God, not again another murder in Port of Spain. Mm, mm. Idle fingers pulling triggers. Graves mm. are filling, not from COVID, or not only from COVID, but from the senseless murders being committed. Mm. Oh, with that, okay. with that killing, well, you know, of the perpetrators and the uh, the the residents, resident of the home, you know, uh, being killed too. Yes. And some I don't know who. And 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 Fitzgerald Hines says, "What? It is not his job." To kill. Mm. Let me let me stick them. Mm. Mm. Yes, so I think um, our our first guest is running 15 minutes late. Mm. Yes, she says she's now on her way home, so okay. it is what it is. All right, so so let me say, uh, first in the village tonight again was no other than Nadia. Nadia seems to be, Nadia seems to have the inroads onto coming into the village first. Then Tikisha was inside. Tikisha, welcome. You know, um, Bonnie Roberts, you're inside the night. Troy Smith, you're inside. June Jadubia, you're inside the night. Um, Lana, you're inside. Good night. Uh, Lana, let me address something. Lana, he did tell me privately I did a good job. They say you didn't tell me I did a good job on air. So when you left me to run the show. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> But that's typical Trini man for you. They're not cultured like that. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes they say it's better. You keep your mouth shut and make people think you're a fool than to open it and confirm it. So I will keep my mouth shut. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, folks, the big thing tonight eh, is, um, is, 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 is Putin and, um, let me play this here. I just received this. Oh, you mean person? Who is that? Putin, you mean? Oh, God. Putin. Mm -hmm. You can yeah, imagine it. Person. You can imagine yeah. if Donald Trump was in power in, in you, the White you House. Know, you, know, you know you take the words right out of my mouth, though? <laughs> Seriously. What, what would have really happened if Donald Trump was in power? What do you think would have happened? You think anything <laughs> different would have been ha would have happened? And I, because mm, I, I'm I'm reading up on you know how this whole place became Ukraine and you know part part of it uh, still they, they they still speak Russian. Part of it is holds more allegiance to Russia, the eastern side, and the western side is more it wants to be uh, independent. And and he thinking going back to a USSR 
that is his egotistical trip, that is what the documentary I looked at summed it up to be. And I understand too that um, some planes went into tai Taiwan's airspace too. Some I don't know, boy. But 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 here's what I don't understand. Eh? If that was another country that invaded another country other than Russia, China, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or, or, or one of them, would America have been sitting on the sidelines and just thinking about sanctions? I don't mm. get it. Mm -hmm. How come America just sitting on the sidelines and allowing Russia to do as they please in Ukraine? Mm. What is that one, boy? Makes you want to yeah, think, huh? Yeah, but things I, that know, make I don't you get go, it, man. Mm. And listen, and how come America didn't go in there before and that fella knew that nobody fella was going to do? And set up some uh, some blockade or something, Yeah, but right? the fella know, they know what the fella was going to do. Mm. And all they set up the Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Now, I just got this, eh? I just, just got this. Um, Теперь несколько важных, очень важных слов для тех, у кого может возникнуть соблазн со стороны вмешаться в происходящее событие. Кто бы не пытался помешать нам, а тем более создать угрозы для нашей страны, для нашего народа, должны знать, что ответ России будет незамедлительным и приведет вас к таким последствиям, с которыми вы в своей истории еще никогда не сталкивались. Мы готовы к любому развитию событий. Все необходимые в этой связи решения приняты. Что касается военной сферы, то современная Россия даже после развала СССР и утраты значительной части его потенциала является сегодня одной из самых мощных ядерных держав. И более того, обладает определенными преимуществами в ряде новейших видов вооружений. В этой связи ни у кого не должно быть сомнений в том, что прямое нападение на нашу страну приведет к разгрому и ужасным последствиям для любого потенциального агресса. You know, I, 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 I'm sure I play that there. Eh? I take a chance and play that there. Eh? Because I'm really sure if the translation is accurate there. Eh? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. sometimes you just take a chance. Raj, we welcome and Albert Montano, right? And my question is this. I don't understand. And like, for example, in 1983, America invaded Grenada. Mm -hmm. And Grenada wasn't a threat to nobody. Mm -hmm. And America said that the American citizens in, 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 in Grenada was under threat. Because of their alliance with Cuba. So, so, so they, invaded, they, they invaded, right? So I, I am asking myself, boy, what is really going on? So, let, let me see if I could bring this up. Eh? I want to bring this up too. Hold on. Let's see if I could bring this one up. Oil, um, Anselm. Oil. Yeah, but it's not no, <laughs> no, no need that to know. I, oil. Um, let me see this. All right, here we go. So, you're seeing that, right? Here's a list of countries. No, hold on. Let me get this. Hold on. All right, so all right, here we go. Uh, so here's a list of countries the U.S. has bombed since World War II. Hmm, Iraq. Right? <laughs> Let's go. Look, look, watch it. Look, what the countries are. Eh? Mm -hmm. 1945, 1946, China. Mm -hmm. Korea in 1950, 1953. Mm -hmm. China again in 1950, 53. Now, that will never happen mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. that, that will never happen again. No, 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 no. Look at the other countries. Guatemala, 1954. Mm -hmm. Indonesia, 1958. Cuba, 1959, mm -hmm. 1960. Guatemala mm -hmm. again, right? Mm -hmm. The Belgian Congo. Guatemala. No, but I, again. Where, where, where that Leopold fellow, you know, did kill 15 million 
Africans. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, that was thing with Guatemala. Guatemala again in 1964. Mm -hmm. The Dominican Republic, 65, 66. Mm -hmm. Peru, 1965. Mm -hmm. Laos, Laos, in 1964, 1963. Vietnam, mm -hmm. 1961. Mm -hmm. Cambodia, 1969, 1970. <laughs> Guatemala again. <laughs> <laughs> Guantala Mela. Oh, Guantala that's something Lebanon, that 1982 84 Grenada mm -hmm. 1983 Libya mm -hmm. El Salvador Nicaragua mm -hmm. Iran mm -hmm. Libya mm -hmm. Panama I'm, I'm Iraq, for that. Kuwait mm -hmm. Somalia mm -hmm. Bosnia Iran <laughs> Sudan Afghanistan you got you got you, you Yugoslavia Afghanistan <laughs> Libya Iraq and Syria, Somalia and Iran in 2020. Think mm. about them. Eh? Most of those countries are dark skinned countries. Mm. Think about think about it. Most of those countries are dark skinned countries. <laughs> well, think about it now. It's right there. Right? Mo most. <laughs> most of them. Mm -hmm. Right? When we look at China, Korea, and China, right? But most of the other countries are dark skinned countries. Why, why, why did they go and invade Russia? Or the mm -hmm. man? Mm -hmm. Why not? Hmm. Look what Russia did. Mm -hmm. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, they better wake up, you know. Wake up mm -hmm. and see what's going on. Mm -hmm. They invade poor little Grenada. Paul L. Grenada. Uh, and don't forget uh, eh, what they told us about weapons of mass destruction. Eh? Found out that that was not true. Okay. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see for yourself. Hmm. Hey, Raj, we say you're incorrect. What, oh. has, what is he incorrect about, Raj? What am I incorrect about? Well, Democrats I mean, need war to help with their reflection. Re-election. What are they? What is he incorrect about? Right, he, he, he's pulling a historical uh, document here. No, I think I think in uh, in the um in the dark skin dark people. skin thing. Uh, he yeah. said but, but most. Look it up, but look it up on his look up on his screen. He said most, not all. Most. I ain't say all. Most of them. <laughs> look it up on his screen. <laughs> eh? Most. Ah, wow. Most are light skin countries. You see so, us? <laughs> Somalia. Rajvi. <laughs> Rajvi, <laughs> most of them are light skin countries. Mm, mm, mm. You serious? Nah, Rajvi. Nah, 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 nah. You know, it's a good thing I put it up on the screen, you know? Well, let's say they're not, they're, most of them are not Caucasians then. Well, <laughs> or, well, 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 uh, uh, 100%. Why? Diana, I did not say that. <laughs> right? I wasn't going there. But since he wants to go there, we I go in there. No, well, I, don't, I didn't want to go. I'm not going. Yeah, you Storm you, you, going there. You could, all right, you could go there. I, right, I, right. I, I call in it. I call in it a spade. It's a spade. Sudanese nah, nah, people nah. are not white people. I, uh, I, I, Afghani I, I, people are not white people. Iranian people. Huh? <laughs> Kuwait, <laughs> Panamanian, Libya, keep going. Yeah, you want me? Yeah, hello. I, I, Grenada, I, 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 the, uh, uh, Guatemalans, mm -hmm. keep going. Uh, how much time? How much time? Guatemala, about four times. No, oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> no, as mm. you say, we are we are, we are a bit factual and real. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you may not like it. You but may not like it. And, 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 and I didn't say all, eh? I said mm. most. Yeah. Right? Most. We'll call it out. Right? And there's always an excuse as to why you, you're going to invade them. But look, look, you have a legitimate excuse to invade Russia. A, le a yeah. legitimate excuse. Mm -hmm. Right? But, but what happened? They sit on the sideline, sanctions, you go sanctions all your sanctions, sanctions. All you know the sanction Venezuela too, right? Yep. <laughs> right? Yep. I guess he's yep. thinking that he's hoping that it will come like Venezuela. In this day and age? 
Luka mm. might be easier. Eh? Mm -mm. Nah, man, nah, man. But they they have nuclear power. Yeah. Oh, this man, he he he, uh, he, he I don't know. Some he he looked like he's about a couple of French tries short of a happy meal, though. So 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 Rajvi says Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan are really light skinned people. Huh? <laughs> oh God, I I Rajvi. You know, I, I, you know, I, 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 let me repeat what I stated. Eh? Most of those countries that were invaded by America since 1945 are dark skinned countries. Keeping it real. They say Heinz went to the Beetham to help the fire victim. What? He, or you see him help them. Or he didn't went to the Beetham, he helped them. Wow, okay. There's a difference. Oh, what well, you have been with um, Takisha? <laughs> well, you just show up. Albert Montana, the same Wait cockroach up. have no place in foul business. <laughs> oh, Lord, Father. They, they know it's interesting in Odana. Mm -hmm. that all of a sudden a disaster happened and mm -hmm. Heinz shows up, which is a good thing, yeah? Which is yes. a good thing. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it's a good thing, but that should be like anything. You should have done that with that sewer thing, man. Yep. You should have been visiting them people once a week. Mm-hmm. Right? And look, Tiki said that's a good thing. You offer them a place to stay. I, Very I good. That's a very yeah. good thing. It's take welcome. Very good. I think that's a very good thing. And you see, that's 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 what it is. You know? We compliment them when they do good thing and when they do dotishness, right? We go after them. By the way, I sent a message to the Minister of Education, Mrs. What is Dolly Gatsby? Is it Nyan? Dolly Gatsby. I don't go near the first name. I just, just I, say Dolly I Gatsby. Don't wanna, I don't want to get her name incorrectly. I just say MP Dolly Gatsby. I don't okay, go near the on. first name. Um, yeah, I am. Um, let me see. I, I want to get her name correctly. Yes, Nyan Dolly Gatsby. Dr. Nyan Dolly Gatsby. And she was nice enough. She responded to me immediately and she said, hi, this Saturday is not possible for me. And then I responded to her, we are on certain times and if she could, um, what she can do. So Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. their time. So, I mean, hey, listen, eh? I have That's to give it. her credit. She responded. That is I have uncle, to give her credit. That is Uncle Keto's girl get to her before I'm both she. She's one of the first one in a long time <laughs> to have responded. And I'm not sure if they, they give her the playbook, but they, <laughs> after, after after she must have them, who's this handsomely born fella? And she they ain't tell coming. The she must say bye. She gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she, she ain't coming. But 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 I, I want to believe that she will come. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to believe that. You know? Mm. So so, folks, we see what's going on in Ukraine. And I just saw somebody said that. I think, Lana, was you posted this, that the government of Ukraine is arming its citizens with guns. Mm -hmm. That's what I heard. Mm -hmm. I don't know how true that is. Right? But they have to do whatever they have to do. You know? And I am just surprised that a man was allowed to do that and just not get away with it, you know, but just do it. You March know, in somebody else's country. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's in nothing. Mm. You understand? <laughs> and that's kind of surprising, man. Just marching and exposing country and say, hey, listen, we're taking that. You know? But isn't it, but it, you know... Uh... Oh, I, I don't know. 
everybody. But I, I, I don't like the call him. I just call him Poutin. Because he, 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 he reminds me of IQ 45. The two of them, always, they're always pouting. They're never happy about nothing. They're always, you know. But what, 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 are you, why, what do you hope to achieve? Right? Supposing everybody, just, okay, you want you want here to get up and they leave. Okay, get, and they, they, you know, and other countries in the world can absorb them. Can absorb them, right? Mm -hmm. Give it that. Give, give them a chance to leave. Who wants to stay? Stay. They don't call for all this. Mm -hmm. they, they, you know, I'm going. I, you know, give them a chance to go. If they want to leave, they want to stay and live under your regime. Your okay, fine. But you know, all this bombing and uh, you know, the poor children. You, you just come out of a pandemic. But then I was reading more, you know, I just read a lot. And they say historically, wars usually follow pandemic. So I'm like, oh Lord. But so soon after a pandemic, ah, oh, and some I don't know where we're heading. Well, well, I mean, uh I saw that we can't play Bob Marley because of that copyright. Bob Marley talking yeah. about the rumors of war. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. everywhere is war. Yeah. Until the philosophy that holds one race superior and another inferior is finally and permanently discredited and abandoned. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Yeah, boy. It, 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 the, thing, the thing's serious, boy. The thing's serious. Um, Takesha says, um, Takesha says, parents, please don't give up on your kids. Don't leave these kids to go astray. I know one of the bandits that killed a woman and died this and die. This young man's parents allowed to thief things from a young age. Oh, oh my god. Oh god. Oh no. Wow, wow, wow. Keisha, boy. Woo. The Keisha, boy. young man wanted to change and didn't didn't want it and know what he was doing was wrong. But some parents give up too easy and some encourage wrongdoing too. That does who go who had oh lord hey <laughs> albert we in china we never know who in china that china have a regiment not an army i want to have cannons that them them, yeah. them, uh, them smoke them bamboo cannon yeah somebody somebody <laughs> set up the two that cannon and say let me see if i get up it i just see somebody set up the two that's still there but I can and something about something. Yeah, yeah, that's that real funny. No, yeah, no, no, no. Albert, we fighting a war in Trinidad. Mm -mm. Albert Montano said 137 Ukraine soldiers now dead. You see how fast? The number climbing. You see how fast? Yeah, Good yeah, evening. Yeah. Good evening, everybody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi, hi, Gary. So, so, how you mean we are fighting a war in Trinidad and every day I see man getting gone down on his feet? Yeah, but if, if they try to, you know, this because thing escalate. Civil war going on there right now. Yeah, you have your own civil war going on there right now. But <laughs> Gary, we and some raise a point here at the top of the, the 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 program of the countries the US invaded, and all of them were, you know, mostly mostly. Let me repeat. Let me rephrase. Most of them were countries of dark skin population. So don't pray for no war here. Good. <laughs> no pray yeah, for no war. I I I I I not. I not. You know because think about it, right? Look. Think about it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 gain it. Think about this, right? You see, you see, we have to kind of go back in history and look at America sideways, you know. Well, I, we live I in this country, right? Most of us live in this country, right? But, mm -hmm. you know, America has had a brutal past. Oh, yeah. A very brutal past, as well oh, as a yeah. lying past. Oh, right? yeah. Look what they did in Iraq, man. Mm -hmm. I remember, boy, people used to be like, boy, them people are wounds, weapons of mass destructions, boy. Mm. And all of you was running with that, knowing that there was mm -hmm. lying. Just mm. so they could invade the country. Mm. Yeah? But how come they go and invade Russia? Russia tell them what they're going to do, you know? 
Rather than mm -hmm. hide, you know, they tell them, oh, you, we going to take that over there. Mm -hmm. And when you come yeah. with some little itty bitty sanction, Russia say, boy, a lot of come better than that. Trump tell um Trump tell Putin that Biden soft to go push your buttons. So um let me see. But it, I... it's, it's it, you know the process they have to consult with their ally partners that they were going together. Mm. They won't go in alone. And, mm. and they don't have to invade Russia, they have to invade the Ukraine. They have to, they have to go to Ukraine again. Where the war is, yeah. yeah. We can't but, but take wait, it. Yeah. But wait. <laughs> They not no war, no war in Ukraine and Russia invade them. Mm. But if you go and invade Russia now, you create a war with Russia. But 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 but, but wait, but wait. So 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 it's okay for you to just go and invade the next country just so. And the, 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 the US the US the US the Allied forces should meet Russia and Ukraine to stop That's right. That's what I say. You know why? Because it's a smaller territory. Strategically, it's a smaller territory. You don't want to go up in Russia, up in the cold, long, barren. It, it's a smaller territory. So, it's so, better. so there's really no consequences for Russia. And, and you're surrounded by uh, friendly countries like Slo um, What countries surround the. Uh, uh, what countries surround UK in there? Somebody tell me. All right. Yeah, you're surrounded by uh, friendly countries rather than all the way. Your, your, your men get caught all the way up in the top there by Russia. Mm. But so, 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 uh, Fistrick says Belgium president has a package of sanctions for Russia. He said they don't want sanctions, but that back sanctions that back, but rather than bite them. Correct is right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All, 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 all are given. Look, look. This is this is this, to me. This is all games. Eh? It's games. It's games. The system. Okay. Uh, we, we go back again. Eh? Let, let me go tell back you again. Before before any government respond, you gonna have a whole set of dead people. That's why I always encourage people to be organized and to fight for your right to defend yourself, whether so, it, you know physically or to respond to your any kind of a disaster. I always try to. To, to encourage the local organization because by the time help reach, I'm telling you, a lot of people are going to be dead before help reach. Mm -hmm. all I, all I remember because that, if, if you see where, um, if where Ukraine is, you have Belarus, you have Poland, you have Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, Moldova, you know, you, and you're closer to the, you know, other side of Europe. But if you try to go up the backside of Russia there geographically, you're not that's not a good if I were a military uh, in charge of my men and, and women, I wouldn't put them out in the corner. Out there. No, 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 no. So let's bring so it on next guess. Guess. let's bring mm -hmm. it on next guess. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Stephen Rennie, how are you doing, sir? Can you hear me? Um, are you hearing me? Are you hearing us? No, he went out of combat. On mute. Okay. Yeah. Dana, you also have Jason in the background too? Oh, he's with him. Yeah, both of them, I think. I think the both okay. of them. All right, we go we go put If you them. guys if you guys are hearing us, um I don't know if you're no, no, the no, same I'm location. But 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 Stephen Rennie just got kicked out. Yeah, so Stephen is the guy back. with the program. See, he's the guy with right. the information. Right, right. I wait till he comes back. As soon as mm -hmm. he comes back, and then we bring just bring in both of them. So so yes, folks, we we <laughs> we 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 we. we. <laughs> uh, <laughs> says, Albert, look at these cases. These young men had before the court. It's the same thing that Gigi was saying. What are the type of crime? The young man was only twenty-three. But who get most of them? F U L G G give out. Hmm. We cannot fight anybody, but Trinidad has things USA would want. So let's keep really but continue. Where are they America. getting these guns from? Where are they getting but, these but, things but Diana, march? Yeah. But, but Diana, this is a very valid point that 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 Albert Montana raises, eh? Mm-hmm. A very valid point, eh? Mm -hmm. um, cannot fight anybody. He says, he says, he says 
You cannot fight anybody, right? But Trinidad has things USA will want. So let Dr. Keith really continue barking at America and aligning himself with Venezuela. Correct is right. The man going to meet with Iran, right? He going to meet with Iran. Mm, Look, mm, mm. Olio, <laughs> we love we nice, beautiful country mm. of TNT, right? Yeah, but you mm. see, I think you saw you right there, the killer innocent woman in her home. It's really sad. And here right? is where I would pause to say, um, uh, if she had pepper spray, would pepper spray work against thee? And the box cutter wasn't going to work this morning, neither. So we had to step up the game here now. Step up the game. You had to get radical. Since all you can get um, FULs, get some battery acid and wait for let them come in your house. Let them come Listen. in. Guys who 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 guys but guys it's another story we have to take out of this eh? just as we have to take a story the last thing anybody want is to have an innocent people an innocent person lose mm -hmm. their life mm -hmm. we don't want that no. we do not want that by any means necessary but I want you all to understand this understand this you cannot wait till something come at your doorsteps for you to become an activist or to fight for that mm. we have seen it happen too many times in trinidad and tobago right it's not me only remember mm. i said let me get this one up here let, let, let me get it up here i said this eh? i said this right i want to get this one up here diana because it is important for us to understand, right? Not because it's not in my neighborhood. I will sit on and be silent. We have to understand the difficulties that people are going through all over the country, right? And we have to make sure that we can stand up for those people. But that don't give them the right to go and invade people home. I don't, I'm, no, not, I'm not agreeing with that. But, but no. Diana, it's, no, Diana. I'm not agreeing with that. You see, where did I say... Where did I agree with anybody for them to go? No, I didn't say that. I, I, I'm agreeing with it. I ain't saying you go. You I, you agreed with it. I am not agreeing with it. It's but difficult for everyone. With that well, I, I didn't with say that. that. I didn't say you were. I am not but, agreeing but, with it. But what it is I'm wrong. saying is that we have to understand. Hold on. Let me, let me take this. And when and when these people take they, they protect themselves, however, I give them a hundred and ten percent right. What you coming oh, in my home me. for? What you coming? Oh. I didn't invite you here. You don't have no key. Then you coming in here to hurt me. I am going to defend myself. Where I live here alone. Try coming in my house now. First, I have alarm and all kind of things. And if you get past that, I, I have a hammer. I'm gonna bust it. And if you get past the hammer, I have box cutter. I have all kind of things place all over the, my, my, my condo here. Right? You try something in here, you're going to get hurt. Let you're me tell you something. Hurt. Whether the government, <laughs> the lawyers, the justice system like it, you invade my house, you are posing a direct you. threat to my life and my family. Thank you. i killing okay? you. i killing you. Dead. So, them lawyers <laughs> and the justice system need to go back to school. Because you're them bastards protecting themselves <laughs> while we suffer any consequences. <laughs> I... Yeah, try, try. Um, you can be in a quiet. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh. are quiet. we going to have feedback from you? We get right feedback from you. We get feedback if from you. Somebody else have on a uh, equipment or something. Let them go out the room or something. We yeah, get we a get lot of feedback. feedback from you. You have a headset. You can put it. Have... They gotta leave. Hello. You have a headset. Good night. Yeah, Do you have? Feedback. Ask him if you have a headset. Do, do you have a headset? We get my feedback. Me. Good night. Do, good night. Good night. Do you have a headset? We're getting our feedback. Yes, I have a headset. Okay, okay, can you have a headset? And we're getting our feedback. One minute. One minute. Okay. Again, a little bad weather rain falling heavy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. All right. The folks, we have a former phone call with us.
and give us a little background about the school. Okay. Um, I'm trying to find a location. Rain falling over here very hard. I'll take off the mic. Yes, I hear nothing. Yeah, can you hear? Hello? Can Can you hear us? Yeah, are you hearing us now? Hello, are you hearing me? Yes, I'm hearing you. What, what, yeah, but I'm still hearing you. You still going to get feedback from you? Yeah, I'm hearing you clearly. Okay. Yeah, what happened? Rain is falling. Okay. Does anyone in the room have one? Does anyone in the room have one? They're still getting a feedback. No, it, 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 no, it's it, no more. No more. Rain falling. Good. No more. Okay, okay, stay there. Tell him to stay where he is. All right. You, you, stay you're back, please, because we'll see you. Yeah, he can right. stay in yeah, we're here, oh. you know. I'll come back a little bit. Are you hearing us? All right. Can you, can you hear us? Yes, I'm hearing you loud and good. Clear. He's hearing us good. Okay. So Just we're getting a little bad weather. We keep going off again. That's all right. We can hear you. You just stay, stay still. Stay there. Can I can I help. Okay, so, so so Mr. Rennie, welcome. Okay. Welcome to Indie Village with the Dark Triplets and WZY 95.9 FM. Yeah. Uh, so D is Diana. Diana is considered to be the storm. To get the opportunity. Well, I'm thankful to get you up for the opportunity. Okay, okay, okay. So, so um so we also have with us in the back. We also have with us in the back Jason Thomas as well. I think I can bring Jason in. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Jason, welcome. Yes, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, his his location is ooh. yeah. Jason ready? ready? Yes, we get a lot of feedback from rain. Yeah. We get bad weather. We ask some rain falling. Or they get feedback from my me? No, 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 no. From from rain. From rain. From rain. Rain and the high rain. Oh boy. Um. Miss hmm. Bucket. Yes. What about now? Better. Right, that's better. Stay there, right there. Hello. Right there. Yeah, yeah, we are here, right? Stay right there. All right. So, so Mr. Thank Rennie, you. let me say welcome to you and welcome to Jason as well. Yes. Um. So, Stephen, give us a little background of your yes. your time at Swim Call. How long did you work at Swim Call? What you did at Swim Call? We lost him again. Mm. Wow. We, we lost him again. Mm. So I don't know. I don't know. Again, some again, some um technical yeah. difficulties. Yeah, technical mm -hmm. difficulties. That's how we call it. So, yeah, Jason, while we have you, yeah, let's give us an update on what has happened lately regarding your 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 situation there with swim call. Right. So, um, that would have been um yesterday morning mm -hmm. that the um the IRO tried to kind of rush a kind of um disciplinary hearing, right? Mm -hmm. And um, apparently he didn't notify the union because you know the normal procedure is to notify the union and writing about the um about the grievance that the company has and so on. And there's a protocol that is supposed to follow. But um, he tried to rush down a kind of scene between himself, me, and the shop steward. And as I say, there's a level of intimidation to her. But I want to believe by now they should at least realize the intimidation and working on me. I immune to all that already. You understand it's 21 over 21 years now working there and i've been in the struggle for over 15 years since i in the company struggling after my first five years that's when i started to stand up for ways right because i realized you know 
it was a lot of wickedness taking place and advantage. Mm-hmm. Right? So um so he tried to force a, 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 a um discipline hearing and for some odd reason the um the IRA the union she was um via um online in mm-hmm. the hearing in the so called hearing he tried to rush and she stopped him stop him stop him in his tracks. She said mm-hmm. that um he knows better, he knows there's a protocol and a way that because she only get a phone call the night before and she's in the court um that said morning and he tried to force her next day and she said no 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 that is not how it is work slow your roll brother you understand you have to make sure that my schedule you know and she let him know we have to set this thing the right way and set a proper date and they asked me to, well, to leave and i don't know what that time transpiring after and the medical lemon when the date is set mm-hmm. So, 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 did they give you any instructions like your car do not live or your right. well, He try, he try while in the hearing on the IRO trying to let him know, hey, you don't mm. proceed that to follow. He's trying to tell she that they're going to give me a final warning letter again. This will be the third final letter, final warning letter in less than two months. Mm. You understand? So, he said, we're going to mm. give him a final warning letter because we have a policy here for, for using, um, for, for showing the company premises and showing the company workers and the company operation. And there's a mm-hmm. violation, and you know, and this so-called policy, the workers, like myself, we only hear about it, but none of us have it in our possession. Normally, these are things that the workers are supposed to have in the possession, so no, the do's and don'ts in the, the, do's and don'ts in the company. Mm-hmm. And apparently, this policy that he's talking about is something outside of the merit of the, the collective bargaining agreement. Mm-hmm. You follow? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Watch, watch, watch. Yeah. Um, it's not yeah, so I when... see come back. I see when he come back in. Yeah, but he's still he's still the only feedback though. The feedback. Oh boy. Can can he go to a, a room by back. himself? Hmm. Yeah, so he's he's still the only feedback. What go on, remember where you live on the bottom? Everybody so clustered up. Mm. It's like even if you go to the highway room. Are you close to the highway? Real close to the highway. Are we hearing him now? Ah, that's uh-huh. better. That's better. Still that's right better. There. So, okay. so, so, and I'm closing so, the door. I'm coming yeah, in the yeah. gallery. So, Mister Rennie, yes, give us, tell us a little bit about. Them. That's all right. Tell but us a little bit about how you started at school. Tell us about how I you started, started at school. Paul. Go ahead. All right. First to begin, my name is Stephen Rennie. I started working swim club from the year 2002 as a waka man. I worked my way from being a waka man on for nearly three years. And then I moved to landfill, where all the waste in Trinidad and Tobago is being done. The work in landfill at that time was $40 a day. You have to direct the truck waste to dump for the tractor to push the waste to be covered with dirt. I worked in for nine years and two people was going to resign so the company asked me to hold on in property maintenance which was Jaide Mahabia and Miss Cynthia who is deceased presently. And I worked in property maintenance for three years and working in property maintenance for three years up to 2010. I realized that I was never cut out. I never applied to be a janitor and clean toilet and these kind of places that offices and things. And I alone had to clean all the offices because the two people resigned and it's alone holding on until the company had somebody there. We had a verbal agreement that if in a year time they didn't get nobody to replace the people that I'll be compensated. And in the year 2010, government changed. The management team went home and a new management team came into being. And I had to explain to them, in Trinidad and Tobago, in this halfway country, how I have a verbal agreement to clean the toilet and the office. I ain't doing it again. I'm going home in my place. So the CEO, Mr. Sharma Lala, at that time, Mr. Rona Roach, agreed with me that that's not my job. And the job I'm doing is three people supposed to be doing it and they will compensate me by giving me forty thousand dollars and putting me in a position that is suitable for me which at that time is 2016 16 or 15 if i come correct the first tire cheddar came down in the caribbean and they bring the builder victor cheddar machine 
They paid for him to stay in the hotel and spend two weeks to train five people how to operate and use the machine. I was fortunate to be there and was interested and I come, came out on top. And so uncle gave me the work as the operator. They have no agreement. They didn't know what is the salary for that. I went to Bago in the theater. I grind 8,000 tires. I could grind 2,000, 3,000 tires in a day. So uncle even employed me verbally to train people to operate the said machine. And there's nothing black and white. All I have is an ex CEO, Mr. Ronald Roach who have the blueprint for the landfill and the engineer and the wheel wash and all the things that should be in place in 2022. Mm. The government get rid of him because of some political misunderstanding. Right? Mm. So presently right now, I'm home, I'm 60. The reason why I choose to come home at 60 is after going through all this work, when I started to work $40 a day in the Mauritan office, they're working on a dump in the water, wash, change clothes, every man no pee pee. And unknown to plenty of people, even here and abroad, that the government, when they started this place, gave certain people, educated people, hundreds of millions of dollars to put a proper landfill in place. But the people live and go on all over Texas. They leave the country and go on. I trip three years ago. So coming out of that in 2022, where we really so find digital this and you know we far advanced, we still live in Barbados who never had hundreds and hundreds of billion of dollars. Have an engineer landfill with mm. wheel wash. You don't see Kobo and thing. And in Trinidad, we still have a dump. We are dumping even smog waste, lab waste, all the ways you think about also is industrial waste. All going in one spot and covering with dirt for 50 years. I'm mm. 60 years, so I could tell you, I can make up that. I live in more, um, about two or 300 yards. I used to have to cross the road to go to work by all. So I choose to, the educated people say, as a patriot, to clean any waste of your country and making sure the million people stay alive and breathe fresh air. And after realizing that these people just using, you know, because you're so educated about which part. Is and getting to speak to doctors and lawyers and joining the union and getting a little more educated on which part are working and have family away who say if I did do this job in England or America for 20 years, I'll be speaking to you all on my own radio station. When <laughs> Trinidad, the rich people and had them working for less than two and three thousand dollars, and it's not US dollars we're speaking about. And we going home with 2013 salary in 2022. So if I, Stephen Rennie, saw in my life, all my children's life, if I could in any country in the world, and I working for a 2013 salary, I stop work one time. Hmm. It's, it's, hmm. it's criminal against the law, it's against everything. It's the most corrupted, treacherous, barbarous. We going again. Oh, wow. He gone again. I, I hope. What, what go on here? He, he phone game. Them some problems, eh? I no, I understand that, you know. We understand he's that, you know. Problems. But it's good. It's good to hear. Um, uh, the man have, I mean, you, you know, Jason, you have been, were you there when he, he was there when he was there, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And he just decided to go. He just think he had enough, right? Well, when I reached that age, 60 years old, and all that stress, I still kind of young, so I can take the jamming. But when you mm. reach that age and come to the reach and work 6 o'clock and 5 o'clock in the morning, and mm. you have to go and go through all them empty promises, and in that stink, nasty, dirty place, it can be very frustrated. So I can understand why the comrade take the opportunity at 60 to resign. Mm. Does, does, to, does he get a pension? Does, does he get a no, pension? No, they, they, they don't have no pension plan in place. They have mm -hmm. a, um, what they call a, um, NIB, a, a, NIB? A, a annuity plan, right? Yeah. That, um, that they said as CEO some years ago, that's even before my time, over 20, over 20 something years ago, he implemented and said that that would be used to um, compensate the workers for the um, retirement and so on. But that annuity plan is an annuity plan that you can go and take personal out, personally take out. But the company saw that as some kind of way to save the self from having to pay money and 
and the workers contribute in a percentage and then put in a percentage and when it's time they resign your gallery lump sum and that is it mm-hmm. you understand and there was mm-hmm. forcing the workers to take that um is is only a few years ago the unions um decided that hey where is the documents that showed the unions before the representatives of the union before had sat down with the company and agreed upon this and up to this day they can't find any document at all stating that the union had sat and the company sat together with the union and agreed upon such annuity plan being placed as a so-called pension plan as they used to tell the workers it was you know and as over the years the workers became high in, enlightened and highlighted about this thing and and it was it was brought to the attention to person some other union that came to help us hey, that, and that's when the company then changed the story and said oh, it's an annuity plan you know but, but mm-hmm. jason you still have your job though right yeah i mean definitely okay yeah, most and he need to, he need to remain in his job what do you all want to um what are you all fessing with him for because he's bringing uh to the forefront uh the the, the, the problems that the workers are facing in mm. I, I mean you know in america you can't be victimizing and being vindictive against people because they're highlighting issues on a job that are not safe that's mm. that's problem that's like lawsuit mm. so they can't to, be doing them things they're trying to deny me and my constitutional right got that right yeah you know yep uh, uh, do, do you have uh, OSHA or anything like that that's coming OSHA, out? OSHA is a toothless bulldog in Trinidad. They more or less, <laughs> just like everything else, being fed by the hands of the government, and the government dictates everything that they do and, and say. So if they know the government has certain things that they don't have right, they will try to cover for the government and then they let the government get away from that. Oh, yeah. um, this is the answer that that OSHA is being paid by the government. <laughs> So OSHA will do nothing against the government. Just nothing is OSHA a question. OSHA is not a public entity. Say that again. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. I apologize oh, for the dropping of the internet. That's oh, all right. What, 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 what OSHA apologize. does? OSHA is a waste of time. OSHA is being paid by government. If I the government and hire you and use OSHA and you talk against me, I don't pay you. So exactly. OSHA will only tell you nice to take things about the government doing this and exactly. doing that for the next 50 years. Exactly. That don't exactly. make educated person. Exactly. Mm-hmm. If you have a problem mm-hmm. for 50 years and all these educated people with hundreds of billions of dollars and nobody affected, you have to get somebody like Putin to start mm-hmm. the ball rolling. Mm. <laughs> it's not no easy to report, but people like don't matter in Trinidad. At and all. I can tell you that I 60 years mm. and I work like <laughs> the state 20 years service. I empty the mm. attorney general, been the prime minister, been the president. Ask them who does empty the race. If they don't have been in the attorney general office, the president office, the prime minister office, and when the chalk cable boost, I tell nobody to empty it. That a pawn girl and long in the bin and empty it. Some of my family mm-hmm. say that smelling so mm-hmm. I have to put perfume and water to bathe to take off the thing after you mm-hmm. doing that for three and four and five years, and then this mm-hmm. same government telling you when you retire at 16, you have to wait a year and long, long, long to get a little gratitude. Mm-hmm. You feel like you have to pay all the service, have a paper to show, you have things to take to the court. It's just turning out of a set of people with a little, little bit of lining in the belly and frightened, frightened. But I cut out from mm-hmm. a different thing. M- I was, M- was in that work in the union. I, the person, was instrumental in highlighting all the issues happening in Trinidad and Tobago. They will like, get rid of me just like how they're trying to get rid of Jason. But I mm-hmm. use a different mechanism. I need the aid to retire. And now I can tell them anything I have to tell them. And if they want to take me to court, where I'll get more privileged to talk. Hmm. Talk, you talk. Talk, my brother, talk. And you, Emsburg, you need to give this man his gratuity. Yeah, hmm. you are, are, are the empty AG, uh, the attorney. Uh, they, oh, yeah, you should have keep some of the documents, you know, you know, have some um, information yeah, on them. We have documents. We have documents. We have claims. We have claims in black and white. The government keeps the paper. Oh. Let me get the letter to show you life. And send me the letter on top of the shelf. They say 16 missing. Because I say if you have 100,000, the government will tax 25,000 from it. Hmm. But when they reach 
next day, can't pay no tax. I can take the boat, go to the boat, go to Bago because it's sexy. I can show you my ID card. So when they say 100,000 or 200,000 for a little black boy in Trinidad, they feel like a million dollars. So mm. the T-416 from the BR in America, mm. that will have the tax and Bajan and somebody will have the tax and prison. So I should have to have paid it from when I start to work at the charity bag life in 2002 to now. I have every place, I have every letter, every paper cut out, any union meeting, dated, everything. This is the government mm. paper, the same as in. Look at the big stamp, watch it. Oh, 2016. Oh, you see it? Him. I can yeah. have a copy. I'm not a lawyer. Pay. Maybe part of Indian parliament. And my father was Ramesh Maharaj, a big attorney, and I don't get my money already. Long time, long time. Mm. And I gave them time and saying, well, let me give them the little time to go. Do I write this to the state by myself? I tell Jason, I write to stick up a placard by myself all that and walk up the step. I bigger than Rowley and all that, some of them politicians. All my family out there because they run from this shit hole and I stand there, mm. my father, my uncle. Mm -hmm. I prefer to die and fight for my country than to go and fight mm. for my next man own. I listen mm -hmm. to the conversation about Ukraine and it's a bomb dropping in Ukraine and it's bomb dropping here. I stay in here and I'm going and run. Mm. I'm going and run and I'm running and fighting mm. to the dead. Mm. You hear what I'm telling you? So I, that's why I'm telling them. No dollar. You can't give me 200,000 to not talk. You can't pay mm. me to make people slave. I took that mm. to be stupid. Mm. Right on the wall. No, right this on is the wall. Go through, all I'm going to and as you talk, HR manager vex them now come a year them never pick up rubbish they never empty a bed they never hmm. see workers on strike and the hospital been full with pizza got and finger and thing and oh smelling stink you ever see a man die for three days and you have to go and move it it must hmm. doesn't leave you hmm. and after you do them thing hmm. for 20 years you have to beg them to get a little pretense you think that that yeah, i want my family yeah. beg me to come and make go and live new york new yeah. jersey that's hmm. sweet Clean gas station, pump gas, do something and get paid instead of stay and suffer. But I choose that these people who just talk and say they're patriot, they never do nothing for the bagel. Yeah, talk your talk, they ready never talk. Sleep my way, they never pay my way, they never empty. Ask them as they go in the office for five years, the feeling government places them on. Hmm. Ask them. Mm -hmm. and when you Answer me, did it talk for the They meet you people, they feel mm -hmm. less than them. So here I have to tell them. David mm. killed Goliath. Yes. The earth is the Lord and the fullness of the So if they feel like saying, not only people trying to advantage, you know, oppressing people, oppression, worse and sort, and they must answer to God talk and all of that. Talk, mm. talk, Renny. Talk, talk. And they can't talk. me. I never, I, 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 I talk for 10 years to the workers in Sun because we can't know all the intelligent doctor, loyal, whoever I talk to, minister. Some of them don't even know which part of the way is going, and there's minister. Mm. Mm -hmm. Some of them don't even know the manager and the CEO in swim call, and there's minister. For real. Some of them For don't real. know how work are working and the condition they're working under. They and we've been underpaid, right? All income services was gained minimum wage. We were still being underpaid. When I sit down mm. and talk to minister like Errol McLeod, who was a unionist, they say that to take a ministerial key to bring the swim call workers up. Mm. To the table with the central service salary. Yeah, no one man can do it, no minister, no prime minister. Rowling, we don't know where the, the honest minister in my whole lifetime cross here. You can't see where the dumping is bad. They pan them. Hmm. We never see hmm. hand man at the cross and say, let me see where the way is going. Yeah, hmm. peace shall wait. Hmm. You know, little bit with one million people and 60 men. Not women, you know, 60 men. Hmm. Just mm. take care of a million people and them building here and this that. And when I tell them, you know, it make me feel good to know that after all my life, my mother, grandmother, great grandmother, in them time we wasn't where we is. And where we is now, you know, that take all the billions of dollars and here are the mm. most kind of Caribbean, the most vehicle. Mm. But every vehicle that changed the tire, where the tire is going, mm. my tire lifespan is 120 years. So if you put 200 million tire on this little dot, you go sink it, you go damage it, you go pollute it. Mm. If educated people know that, and they're getting mm. money to hush them out. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's why they yeah. make this little baby machine, Trinidad, 
the machine right in America, they want to get to that thing. We are spending all our money for that machine for them. No? Mm. Let the mm. machine stay there. Let me spend this money. So they mm. care about money more than people life. Mm. Uh, these guys have a plastic bottle. They see they're making a big thing. They're putting it on TV. They're saying in school recycling a plastic bottle. The lifespan is only 60 or 200. A tire, there is not a plane tire. Go in the airport in any country and watch the tires of a plane. The tire of a plane thick like that slab of concrete. When that tire gets smooth and they take it off the plane, I would have a machine with teeth grinding in and grinding it and bringing it into dust. We do have that. Dig in a hole 80 by 100 and bury that plane tire. How much plane tires you feel buried in 50 years? Hmm. So there's still mm -hmm. you could dig up and find them for the tire lifespan is 120 years. Ask any scientist, ask anybody who's studying them thing and they go tell you about the history. A tire don't rot, no dissolve just so. Hmm. And, and what you know this what? little fragment of the dot. And you put in mm -hmm. all the well they had, the food, they thought they're bright, and they thought that the poor people, them killing themselves with the money. <laughs> they all the import from gift wrap. And all we come to your gift wrap, you have to take off the wrap and get this put in the bin. And when they empty the bin, America, England, all of them know that them is supposed to work on the most priorities place on your waist. That's why the pandemic mm. breaks out. Because the cleanest world, Canada, and you have, you are cleaning here. You building a building and leave it for hundred years without maintenance, without cleaning. A government building and you taking taxpayer money and spending it and buy. You going and try to buy people for vote with fifty million and you are workers working and slaving in the country and you in pain there. Twenty thirteen. And our country don't have more workers than the government and an attack the government. Before you owing the government more than ten years, they're working before you come into office. And you watching them and telling them whether it's the anti water, the doctors, the waste, all of them is workers. Essential workers. Essential workers. Mm -hmm. Manager and everything down in the office and they own 450,000. When Kama hit them, it's them that see them on to hook up the tubes. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have seen the little people with them on the ground picking up rubbish in the pandemic for two or three years, mm -hmm. lying down with tubes of time with Corona. God is a just God. Talk, Renny, talk. Talk, talk. You talk. And under under the under Dr. King Christopher Rowley, black people suffering. Hmm. And Emsburg, why this man can't get his gratuity money? Emsburg, hmm. give him money, money. He clean your waist for how long? He clean him waist for how long? Give this years. man his money. Emsburg, Donna this man want the money now. All the, 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 all for how long? Sickening, all this sickness. Twenty years. Twenty Even. years. All this Even. sickness. I'm telling you, they only have a record Even. of sixteen years. I'm telling you, on just it is in Trinidad. In Trinidad. Sickening. It only has a for certain people. When people open them, the mouth working to class to me right now in Trinidad. There are no rights. Hmm. You can't demonstrate, you can't march there. Oh, yeah, yeah, you no know, union leader say nothing. Hmm. We have a, 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 a president uh, in house union for more than 10 years. You can't even show the auditor, they're too corrupted. Some of them union people, when they're done, they talk, they talk, and you see there is a minister. The one minister, the same slave master, see them take it over and you're in the same position. Hmm. And some people like the class. Hmm. Hmm. There are people working in inhumane condition. When the minister come and tries to the news that there's an inhumane place, there are people working the fire him. Hmm. And they start to build a building and take wood four million. Hmm. A, a downstairs hmm. and upstairs building for the simple workers who seem away for more than 50 years. And then they bring hmm. you people hmm. to tell you eyes are this and eyes are that. And I went and studied air for five years and I 
and can study soil for five years. And I know about ways for five. Some of them didn't born when I was working. Hmm. <laughs> I started to work with some of them didn't born. There's 26 and 30 years. I 60. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a little boy going up and beat him here. They name no beat him here. They name Shanty Tong. They did not know how to say I can tell you all of that. Yeah, correct. They said drop Robin Jones. They buy me a big house. City Corporation come there. And they start to lie to Robin Bonnet and the tractor pushing the fire. It burned up about two or three tractor. And the government said no, because all the smoke going down to Port of Spain in the big high rise building. And it's going to get them cancer and tuberculosis and bronchitis. So they say, listening, we have to spend some money on that place up there and get this thing out of the way. So they give some people some money, name solid ways, so they're taking care of all the ways of the country. So when government that has bring them people who just see you on a board, they have a board and a government board with a chairman and them just sit down in a in selected community with a straight, I don't know which part in Trinidad them live in, and lie with a straight lie, face lie, on lie. a chinky down the way. I want yeah. to know if it have a special place they're going to the people them oppressing. Hmm. They're going to the hmm. same place. God said the earth, the earth is the Lord and the fullness there. Nobody carry on from the earth and hide. The hmm. earth is the Lord and the fullness there. People who are going to climb quite up there, dropping back down here. They the hmm. earth is they, they the end. They the beginning and the end. So don't mama guy is savage. Just a human with flesh and blood and a heart beating and you're not doing it right. And Not when that, right. that time finished, it finished. Everybody like I listen to the foreign outside news and people out there who never go away in their apartment, then come outside, they get corona and they die. Mm. I go in in the mm. dump, go in the bin, where all the germs is, all the germs is. And me again, and when I get tired, you know what, to go a little holidays, I have to call the manager and tell the manager, hello. You know, I'm feeling good at coughing and a skin. I think I could come out of it. They say, no, I could play home for 14 days. I thank God, Jesus, I got 14 days. When I call them now, they tell me, don't come to work. I say, all right. I go on by doctor all day, doctor Friday. I say, doctor, I don't know if you can give me some sick leave. I'm 60, I'm coughing and a sneezing. Yesterday, I had fever. Still, you are trouble, man. We know nothing about it. You see, the testers where we have is for people who critical and have symptoms. You have no symptoms. Hmm. I come back home and call them and tell them where the doctor said, They say, No, tell the doctor, put it in writing. And say, I go on and tell Friday, they say, Put it in writing. I will come for the government. He said, I go test you. He come at a long to take sort of. I said, Where is that? Because I'm black, I want to they try to match up my nose. If you can choke me down my nose, I'm choking my eye. If you took that thing and blood of pain in the bottom of that, I'm telling you. You hear what I'm telling you? I'm playing with you. They'll bring you from wherever far away to come to me. Don't try to choke me. You see how black I is? So the doctor said, all right, and he take our next one, he say, you make me spoil one, I take it out, and it's there, eh, and I have to throw it, and I have to take out. And... So I go over here, and they ring and say, you're over and positive. I say, eh, eh, all right, you have to stay home until you get parents. So I stay home here. I didn't bathe in. I cook in my cow, wheel soup with my little provision, and bathe in and feed in my dog. And my phone ring. Hello, they see me and the doctor to see the thing you have corona. I say, me, me never have no corona, me never cough, me never sneeze, doctor. I tired. I 60. I work in for the last 20 years. They buy me holidays and all. I pay for a check slip to show you. When I get a money company buying it, because they need me the truck down in town, no cable to pull up the bin to empty it. I just go and put on her gloves and and I have been on get double. Mm -mm -mm. Supervisor and things say, hey, you do right to your pay coming up to reach you and you walk in a set of double. That's how I, I'm trying to be good. That people live in the new house. Um, all the mango tree times and these spice, this flowers plant. They don't have them thing there and nobody can go in there and they your country. When I jump on the truck to because you've been man telling me, you no, know, I said, you chop it out. I pay in taxi because then go on and the phone coming and that's about me. 
ไอ้เจ้าติดกับป้ามังบุ๊กเจลี่เปิดตาตีเจนตัวมังบุ๊กเจ็ดมาดูเจ้าหน้าดูคนคนจูเลียนอ่ะพวกมังบุ๊กได้นอดีประธานมังบุ๊กเป็น people like me plan that black people yeah มาก็ไปที่โจนี่จะไปเล่น all the cool all the thing I go and drink water take off my gloves I wash my face I drink some water this girl I say you just say they know your place In my tax, I to think to build this building is all that mm. money that keep on going for nothing and all this thing. Now in office, drinking cold water and air condition. Mm. It have people in them place that nothing for Trinidad and even as matter of fact, it have people that bring from foreign outside, not Trinidad, foreigners to do some of the work where you and me. So sit down in the chair. Do I go in the chair? Do you change my chair? Can I then and why? Can I and a woman talking into me with accent? When I open my mouth and start to talk, she said, "Well, I go make a, um, I go make a thing because I don't really change check without the idea. I have no things." So I tell she, "You said you come here. And I live in here. I work at ten days and get a check. I'm a pink slip. If you want, call the police and ask them if they not Steve Ren." And case closed. She said, "I make a submission. I go change the check." So Trinidad in a bad state. I know it has plenty of mm. people. Some are being in the West Indies, they're living abroad. Some of them listening the news, the news lying. Ask Jason if I lie. We had a program also going past you early in the morning. Jason, all now we talking, they're listening. Me, the bug of phone, they're doing that thing. Hmm. The last time I come up on live and I'm talking like I was talking to all you, I wanted the company we are working for for twenty. Years. They send the pump truck to pump out the sewer. And supervisor saying I have to go here and I have to. I start coming up on the live and talk. The next day the truck pack up all this. They come to pump it out. The minister sent two bag with groceries and a food card for me. So don't feel sometimes when they say, "Boy, me feel the talk and make noise." And this one gain the food. They can the next one gain the food. They can none of them know what really going on. Some people have been entering at this. You could ah, you could do a survey from out there and call people you know here and ask them where the dump is. How many people who, they don't know nothing about that? They don't know. It are ministers I went to ask Jason. They don't know where the dump is. They don't know it are people who came. They don't know it are mechanic well. A board member come in this place. Say yeah, people is a businessman. Yeah, people the man is sweeping by his garage. Get two hundred a day, and he's working well. That's getting one seventy five. And he on the board. Hmm. So, all in the government know is educated people you're talking about. As is a minister, the telephone came out. Yes, I have that, and I have paid. I don't know how they just get all these things, and they can't do nothing. Hmm. How so, all these educated people? That's why I tell them in a, in a forum, in a union forum, I blame some of the union. Some of them leaving from the union and going into government as minister and sit down in the ministry of labor and tell them it's a minister now. And they were the same people who was on the ground and came for labor and now you get the seat that's down on and you do not turn a school hmm. to change the mechanism of the labor and black hmm. people is who doing the labor. Who want to mention that? I know hmm. my people don't have belly. If the people hmm. who work in are talking about Syria and the government, it's black people. It's black people who feel the sector people saving each other for 50 years. They don't know that like one or two little mix up. One or two years, I say, I know 10. Only black people go. When I go from the Cuba, I say, Who is the majority of workers? The majority of workers is my kind of people. Hmm. It was terminals, the hang out. People leave from working with swim called drivers and go on and drive in bus. Mm. And get, right. right now, I don't want to call nobody name for them to be victimized. By the name, I know them. The next thing what they will right there is to talk about them. They will tell you, if you reach the city, I'm going to tell you, you know, only stay in them for 10 years. After 10 years, you have to own risk. You could drop them mm. day and then. Mm. Mm. any day and then. All the people mm. who I know when I started to move there, I tell you, I tell you, none. they're dead. They mm. Mr. Rennie? Really? No. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Rennie, Mr. Rennie, question. Hold Mr. Rennie, what is the um, what is the yeah. um, the what is the mix of people like that works in the dump? What is the mix of people like that works in the dump? African people alone. Oh Lord. Okay. Hmm. You sure about that? Trinidad, if I sure. Yeah. Uh, what do you say? 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. You ask him again, Renny. So he had red, he had, he had red <laughs> ball. He said, wax in his ears. Ask him again. Watch me. I want to be honest with you. I don't know why I'm trying this. So I'm making up nothing and telling him. Everything I tell him is God on his shooting. Right. Yeah. I, I'm making up nothing to tell you. Mm -hmm. And in the next conversation, I will bring documents. I will get this to be on the tablet or wherever. I'm, I'm blessed by not to have no station. I'm a Thing of the thing. But I'm going to put up in their good life. Why do you think? Why do you yeah. think you guys are being treated like that? What, what what do you think is the reason why you guys are treated the way you are treated? We are, you mean like me and Jason? Yeah, and, yeah. Why and, you guys and the like company, that? if you have a company, yeah. if you have a company, whether it's privately or government run, mm -hmm. and it are things you can't hide in, whether you're mm -hmm. paying your taxes, whether you're oh. paying the IR or NI, and oh. I woke up. When I had the start to go on live air, eh? and you know, I went from a tax return and they said two missing. Oh. He come like a thorn in the side to the government to call you, charge you, fire you, get rid of you, and put somebody else. So that person come like a threat to you. Anything he thing you could do to get rid of them. Hmm. And any government ministry will pressure them. Hmm. They tell them they reach late again, them a warning letter. And you come late oh, again, sure. again, another one. And when they come late again, you go in and send them home with a dismissal letter and see the jump of them. You don't kind of rack it. I'm telling you, people, when you hear people shoot and kill and this and that, sometimes it's not no poking, robbery, nothing, you know. It's sometimes it's a man who was working and that was the boss. <laughs> oh, boy. Mm. Yeah, we, lo we lost him again. His internet gone out. So, Jason... Mm. What, what's next for you, my brother? What's next? Well, for you? well, I'm waiting to hear what what day they coming with with this with this um disciplinary hearing again. You know, this disciplinary hearing that is against my constitutional right to speak out. Oh, they right? leave Jason alone. Hmm. Huh? Go ahead. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting to hear what day they bring in. You know, and so on. So that is more or less it. Um. And apart from that, uh, as my comrade gave me that strength today, we went to a meeting with a, with a um, senator today. And he was the one who highlighted to us that it's a constitutional right to speak out and that kind of thing. And um, once the union and the company doesn't have an agreement with this policy, the policy is null and void. Because, you know, it's, it's like it's, it's unilater unilaterally, once it's not done, once it's not unilaterally, it's not, it's not valid. Mm. <laughs> well, boy, boy, Jason, boy, I'll tell you, boy, all that continue that struggle, man. Yeah, yeah because... continue the ongoing battle. Is ongoing yeah, fight, yeah, yeah. If all that continue fight. that struggle, boy, people will just give up, man. It's for you real, know? for real. And you know, the, the, most, the most hard part about it is to get workers to wake up, boy. As my comrade just said, some people like they don't have belly or the. It's not a say that don't they're have sex. They're frightened. They're frightened. But what a fear in. Where fear in? You, 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 I mean, you, it's, you, it's not say lying on anybody or anything. Is the truth you're talking? Get up and, and people, stand up for all your rights. If, if people doing you unjust and they're making laws to stop you from standing up for your rights, you have to break them laws. Get up and but stand up for all your rights. <laughs> and if all you don't walk in there, the, the, the garbage ain't gonna get taken care of. Exactly. You all are essential people. They exactly. have to treat you all with dignity exactly. and respect exactly. and pay exactly. all your more than that money that all you're working for. Exactly. You all exactly. are, 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 are look, 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 after how much years? The small money he was working for. Time the time all this time pass and the take out this and the take out that. There's really nothing he going home with. When he's supposed to be going home to be able to travel the Caribbean, travel to some other place and then start to enjoy life. He going home with nothing. You understand? Because of the small salaries that he's been working for over the years. And on top of that is a 20, 20, 13 rate. They're exactly. using in 2020. Exactly. I don't know if that should go to the Supreme Court. How could you use? 
election from 2013 to administer somebody in 2022. That expire. Mm. That expire. And the same industrial mm. court and the people who see them in it telling you after five years, all your thing expire. Mm. After five years, the thing it expire, but then leaving it for the past five years. Exactly. So that exactly. you, when I'm not in the get and them go eat that. They eat exactly. your tax. They like too much. They eat them from inside exactly. out. Hmm. Sad boy, sad. Yeah. So I'm sad. glad they get the opportunity to get a voice. I have a lot of things to tell. I just tell the public. I find that I even <laughs> talk so much with some of the young people, some of the educated people. And when I'm talking, they're hacking in my thing. Yeah, so a little vex is not me doing that. It's the state, they're hacking in and chinging and turning off and dropping and coming back. No. All them things. It's them doing that. It's not me. That's a, that's some okay. device of Yugoslavia. That's some device of Yugoslavia. Yeah. 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 Mm. Well, let, let me tell everything that, well, let me, well, let me let, let me tell all this something. There's no better or greater device than God, global mm. orbiting device. So let them take that in the pipe and smoke it. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Smoke it. Exactly. Mm. Good. But you should get your all check. Right, but, um, I gonna do my I life. Get... I gonna be an Imsburg little Chinese looking behind. You better find the uh, money and pay this man the money that clean all your waste for all these exactly, years. Exactly. And all the yeah, drag yeah. and all the tail and, to issue he, a check. He, huh? he, he also a retroactive, retroactive negotiation period. At Whatever money. Period. Keep yes, Christopher Rowley. Shame on you. Shame on you. Has hmm. have a black man suffering so. Shame. And, you know, and then you're like, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, my, my man, uh, you and then you use the one that get up on a podium and say about the black man ain't doing good in Trinidad and Tobago. I wonder why. I wonder why. Huh? And you have a man suffering, a black man suffering upon the you so shame on you, Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley. Shame on you. And you have them yeah. smart running the country when you in, in, in your absence. Oh mm. god, well, don't let he be prime minister. Everybody go dead. <laughs> Everybody go dead. Well, I feel like we're the one thing because after you pay, I do my little match, and after you pay NIS and the IR for 20 years. When I watch my faces, one something and think them taken out. Hmm. If you take out one something. For 20 years from a million, you know, a million dies, you know, a million dies mm. after 20 years, and then after 20 years, they're telling the same person, um, it's the animal money. So, where do we need people money? Where they take mm -hmm. out for years? Mm. Where no bank access. are they going in? Mm. Yeah, the bank are going in. Dr. Equilam telling us, Dr. Equilam say, it's about. No access to capital, no access to, to uh, economic improvement uh, wow. under a black prime minister, and the black mm. man ain't doing good, eh? mm. Dr. Rowley. Shame on you, shame, shame, shame on you, eh? and, and and this poor man here, and I set a paperwork and a paperwork. Mm. I know, I know, because it, 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 me, it, I, I, I set a, I set a, I set a stupid paperwork to get something done, it, and they, and they want to challenge you on this, and, and sometimes you're presenting yourself. Well, I know I present myself truthfully to get back my ID card, but they're looking at me like I'm a Venezuelan and mm. I sneak and come in the border. I know the nonsense. I'm tired of them now. Yeah, y'all, the whole system needs turning inside out. They need to think it over, flip it up. It needs need the whole thing. Need a reset, a reset. Whole thing need doing over in 2022. Mm -hmm. And this what going on. That the heating should automatically kick in. Exactly. Uh, what are you doing with the money? Where the exactly. money go on? I only have fifteen million dollars to buy pig pen, according to my friend mm. Star. Pig pen to, for people to go and whine in, huh? Mm. Uh huh. All right. And poor man here can't get his money to see mm. about his family. True. Uh, and he and he taking care of your garbage, huh? Mm. All the, this. I mean, come on. I ain't knocking with the man, but I had his stomach for that. Mm. Nah, I, I had. You had to be a special kind of person to have stomach to do that kind of work. Yep. And all they can't find it. Decency and courtesy to pay this man his money, his gratuity money at 2013 salary. Shame mm. on you, Dr. Rowley. Shame on you, Imsburg. 
shame on everybody who Donna Cox, all all you are involved in the dispersion of any kind of checks. Shame on all all you. I say so. <laughs> Anytime I go to say anything concerning them, the jumping in my thing or cutting it, I say to them that if when I was 10 years old, I 60 <laughs> years now, did I 60 mm. years ago? Dr. Eric Williams told me I was going to school in Toko. I know they like to parade the political people on the ground and they come in for election. He said Trinidad and you have a million how much people. Let me forget the how much. He said, mm. and if I take one dollar from everybody, that is one million dollars. Mm -hmm. So since I stand here and I watch my pay slip, I have one somewhere to show you on in four. If your working class is fifty percent and you taking one from them for twenty years, where that mm -hmm. money was going, somebody mm -hmm. only had to do the math and send you in to lock up them because somebody right here who make a device and level them in there, and then all of us say it's a terrorist here. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, uh, 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 Ansel play um, no, in non disclosure um, statement. <laughs> Answer. No, be quite wrong. <laughs> Humanly wrong. It's an injustice, humanity. The workers who sacrificing, who is patriot, I don't give away the minister and them. What is the name? He called the minister and they move him. Leon. Yes? Mm -hmm. Mr. Leon, permission to speak freely without all due respect to you and the government. Government of Trinidad and Tobago. Where you got to, you got to get permission to speak? Talk it, talk. You got to get on the constitution. Give you right to talk. Yeah, on the table, that minister. Yeah, on the table, that minister. You have to um, use the words. You know, I'm telling you, you have to use protocol. I'm not being diplomacy and views, and do and not talk. reflect the opinions and, and views mind. of WZYE management and staff. Just a disclosure statement, gentlemen. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> so, I tell you, when I sit down in my house going to school, mm. I watching on the television, the government giving out to people working in the president's office for 20 years. In the president's office, you working, cleaning, washing, whatever you doing. You're not exposed to no danger, nothing, 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 nothing. You get the best cleaning, sanitizer, more everything. You hear what I'm mm -hmm. saying? The mm -hmm. man working on the dump for 50 years, he has a toilet. He don't have a mm -hmm. pipe to wash his hand or his face. Mm -hmm. He don't have no gloves, he don't have to drive the rain from. His eyes tell mm -hmm. the for the boot and put people in the proper way. I take all in court by myself. I want no mm -hmm. lawyer, mm -hmm. not now alone. I want them to tell them to the black boy, but hey, you're wrong. And mm. them right. Mm -mm. I challenge you straight already. I ain't pray them. I telling you. You don't have to be a lawyer I tell you David kill Goliath. <laughs> hey, hey, what month you born, Steven? Goliath was one big council man when Goliath felt as fair killing ten people. David never do nobody, not me, never hit nobody at slap. <laughs> and when God tell David, you have to take care of Goliath. David get frightened. Mm. So I just tell Jason because he likes to be frightened. But no mm. fear. No fear of Pearl Bernard. No fear of Thompson, that greedy thief in home CEO. No fear of the next Thompson friend, brother, cousin we bring. No fear to tell the public in the union that they're running a cardboard family. They're coming and bringing friend and family and putting square peg in wrong hole. The mm. place will come into the betterment that it will be for the people. They will end up as sinkhole and sink Trinidad. Hmm. <laughs> because they end with nothing in this. The EMA waste of time. Mm -hmm. If a dog dead day and it's smelling sick, the EMA will tell you that scent will do you nothing. EMA, hmm. I know, Shah, sure. waste of time. A waste of time with EMA. The sure. union telling them, the workers have to go home. They're telling you, no, we can't send home the workers because we are paying all here. 
So it's a and whole do you get set of it. And when they tell you black people work in the life, black people do the most endurance work in Trinidad. Ask them who work in where the mix who drive in the truck is black people. You know what the work black people are doing? They're in the aviation office in Piaco because they're just black people. They have a set of different kind of people and in customs. I tell you that. Since I small mm. it out that it that change. Mm. That their friends, their family to go to the best school and the if your child pass for a prestige school, let's check out the name in the computer. <laughs> and put it in the school. <laughs> the bright. Ooh. You hear? Mm. Mm. They could, you could fool some people sometimes. You can fool all the people all the time. Mm. And, and right now in China, because right. nobody really ever, just nobody telling Rowley, nobody ever PNM government. He done lost in Tobago. He go with 50 mm -hmm. million. If he come to an election tomorrow, he go lost. Again. If Rowley come <laughs> in tomorrow, look, Jay, the next election, he had 200 million, he go lost. Mm. Black people are stupid now in a slavery day. They not 200 years ago. It had yeah. black people in slavery. Black people. And I was always I was glad to get from the tell people. I turn and we go, me and I reach out and my ancestors are slave. But I feel like cut off from man. Then go try my genetical to be tested. <laughs> because you can't enslave me. Mm. As I see white people, I just tremble. I just get mm -hmm. frightened. I just feel like you're trying to interfere with me, which makes the friend. Mm -hmm. They just mm -hmm. when I start to talk on the live, they cut it off, they go call me, they go bring him and tell me all kinds of things. They say, you know you're a terrorist. You know this government will mm -hmm. lock you up just so and say you have to make a gun. And we have a record. You know how people can make all of that? They could make mm -hmm. a big degree and tell her, I'm Dr. Swiss from Swiss. And get the wrong injection and you're dead. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They're not America. They don't do it with mm -hmm. them one thing. But it's only a safe kind of people. That's why I'm talking. I ain't talking because I want no help. I ain't want to give me nothing. I'm talking because I want the world to know whether they're doing black people. When, mm -hmm. yes, you went and, and marched into that for, for, for Black Lives Matters. Yeah, my friends mm -hmm. say, anyhow. With them, with them is not black people. Hmm. <laughs> them is the people, the great grandchildren are the slave master. Mm. I'm not the great grandchild and no slave master. I never live. I feel if I was alive in slavery, you would not know me because uh, I, I'm my boy's friend. Because <laughs> me, I say no chain, I try to pick up my life. I swear on my life, that the dreams I have. I never leave here, all my family all day. I tell Jason today, to me, I want to have the name of my family, my family is doctor, and this and that and the other. And them tell me, they come in there. The, um, I Rennie, there the throughout, throughout the yeah. years, have, have you had many physicals, uh, like been to the doctor to, for the, to check you out? You know, for of the course, uh, medical. Medical, medical, they call it. Yeah. Mm. Listen. When we had no medical, when they started medical, was two medical a year. In mm -hmm. 2015 or 16, I think the command to the economy and the money, we are in charge of that. They could only afford one medical a year. Mm. So just imagine, in a place mm -hmm. where you're supposed to be getting three medical a year, mm. you gain one. Mm. And now in a pandemic, they tell you, mm. kind of money, you might get none. Mm. These people, my people, I talk for essay nothing. And these people mm. tell him that there's black people who would have paid in. Mm. They tell him to be a slave. There's mm. no white man that are telling him and saying, no, I did see you. If you see this video, they come and talk like yeah, you must know he's a thief. He close your eyes. Like. <laughs> I never meet people mm. who lie with a straight face. Mm. But mm. my grandmother mm. tell me, we are these people. Let's say there's a man that walketh not in the council of the ungodly, not stand in the way of sinners, not sit in the seat of the scorn. He like his own days, Lord. He meditate day and night. And he like a tree, blessed mm. the rivers of others, that bring it forth in fruits and juices. Mm. He, speak, he like brother, the speak. Yeah. Mm. 
So that is why I could sleep and tell you, me talking, I feel like I talk. I told him, God, God still have me here to do that. To talk mm. to give me, bless me with that gift. I tell Jason, I said, Jason, I retire. And when I retire, you go hear the world say, we want to talk to that man. They call from out there, they want me to come in a union webinar in UE. I went and talked to professors. And what I'm telling you is, in Trinidad, it, it to me, like it's the land of talk. Because you go tell mm. a man this cup in the same. And it's have a next man down the road selling the same cup. And people buying it. Hmm. So it, it kind of, boy, we living in a hmm. kind of place now in Trinidad. When I was a young fella, I was living in the land of paradise with hummingbirds. I used to go and catch birds, fish, and catch crab. Now we living in a different place. And half okay. of Venezuela done taking some of the place here because it's 35 million people in Venezuela. And when them come across with a pure and they go in the night, they don't in the end in the carcass. And the government says, we are men and we're getting it all back. You know, it's a setup. Mm. Boy, it's a deep, deep. Mm. So it's like the invasion we're having right now. It's having that in Trinidad because if Maduro and them wrecks, how Rowley closing up the border, Rowley don't have mm. no stealth missile to park up down there and shoot in Venezuela. But Venezuela had a fighter jet. And, so, and then Rowley going and back up. So join America, my CC Rowley Sanchi. Because if your enemy, I hear you, your enemy can be my friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, enemy of my enemy is my, enemy is my friend. <laughs> we probably are Maduro's friend, and I is America. I not tolerating the same Jews. That's right. So we African people to the slaves again. Mm -hmm. Because anytime America sanctions, to be seen my family and them again, me again, no US, net, Trinidad gone. In Venezuela, we have different people swimming over there, wasting their life. They have something to eat. Hmm. So if, hmm. if five million come from there here, they eat out all we food, there's only a million a week. Hmm. Do the math. Hmm. So yes, you know, Rowley, something wrong with them. You have a million people, there's not million here. It are people on with a vagrants on the street. It are people and you inviting other people to come to eat the little bit of food you have. Mm. But <laughs> you know you maybe have a share somewhere. <laughs> so here can end up in the war with the war because if Maduro say see me and Rowley and that little chin of that five hundred of like in the all them big police say uh, talking them running in the bush and hiding in 1990. Moses, so if trade commandos, 500 of them running here, hmm. or you kind of the bond uniform, I am squall all below them mother bed. Hmm. All them to the food, they big and fat so and then see them running hmm. so they're running down hmm. nothing, they're holding nothing. People came people to tell you well they gang related. Three people hmm. die gang related hmm. come on. Hmm. Lock up some investigating that that the detective for that that really state that we are money paid for. We are paying you to come and tell me that we are walking down there and we feel it. Like nobody investigate nothing. When I watch the statistic, Corona is a joke. The more statistic bigger than the Corona. Anyway, answer me there. Yes. Answer me. Oh, yeah. yeah. When? What? what are you what, hearing me? Yeah, we hear you. Yes, yes. Rennie, what? Are you what, hearing me? Yeah, we yes, hear we're hearing you. Okay, hearing so. You. So listen to this, Rennie. Uh, um, Rennie, are you hearing me? Yes, I'm listening. Yeah. All right. So, 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 what? What advice would you give to Jason? With respect to his activities at Swim Call, what is the advice? What is the closing advice you will give to Jason as far as based on your experience? What advice would you give? Him? I don't want to take him on his calves, right? In 2010, we had a union comprised of workers that in house union with a license. You could go to court, you could go and sell, you could check, you could go by the minister, anybody. I was privileged to go by one or two ministers in the union, as at that time I was a shop steward. 
And from since that time, I'm telling Jason, and I say it now, and I say it to the men, I say it all about nobody in Trinidad is going to get up whether it's in the utilities and see them people getting the wrong side and that corruption and we have to fix it. It do work so in America it works like that. Union, not got no negotiation and take this high court of the land and let the court investigate and see what has been transpired, the atrocity upon human workers in swim for the last 25 or 30 years. Given them a raise or an increase or back when solve the problem of Trinidad and Tobago. So my advice is that if you tell a minister he cannot do that, he has to go to the line minister, the line minister to take a note to cabinet, cabinet at a point a ministerial committee that might be next 10 years. Hmm. Before I start to work from call, they talk about moving that place. 25 years after the place still there, and a man will come because you have a degree and tell you, listen, we have big plans. If you see the, if you see the drought, I put on a piece of thing and they snap it and they send it to all England. Hmm. And working against the environment and environment friendly and all of that is a set of bullshit and lie. Hmm. If America send investigators down here to see climate change and what they're doing here with waste, they lock the air and all. They may do nothing. Hmm. They tell you they're recycling the light. The place right there by the man. And it look like most. They say they build a recycling plan for how many million? 50 million. Hmm. Is that? Hmm. 50 million. It big like my house. My house cost 5,000. How that little place like my house cost 50 million? Hmm. And they put two machines in it and tell you them two machines in the cost the next 50 million. So who's solving that problem? Me? Hmm. Is them who teach the million somebody somehow who realize, hey, something wrong. Ask government in power. I call you, my brother. I am talking and I have to track for 50 million. It's up to you, people. You could take the paper and go and do something and I come for me. The hmm. thief, hmm. the money. You can't show me in Trinidad we have a million people. And reading a budget of sixty-five billion dollars, hmm. what happening in the last two years, three years, four years? Wait, what done? What infrastructure? What was done? What road? Wait, wait what? Hmm. When something started, have a lot of people educated and run up to say, "Why these people this? Or why these people that?" And then watching content of that people for fifty years. I remember that time right here in Trinidad, there's only certain people could work in the bank. Mm, people, you know. I know. Only certain people could get a loan from the bank or have an account in the bank. That time, certain people can't put an account in the bank, they don't want to open an account in the bank. So we're still in a place, according to my uncle and my we're living on the Cocoa Estate still. You know, third world country yet. And here no democracy good yet. Because under democracy, hmm. people working for the state have certain criteria and things follow. We come from a Jason and twenties something agreement treaty for workers and workers' rights. And if them things not being kept, that is just telling you, they lie, there's a outlaw people. Mm. So they sign a big treaty agreement and they will tell you, not me that sign that is the next government. Mm. But the treaty signed to cover China and Tobago, not the government. So if the workers in the country being oppressed and victimized, the big treaty sign the labor treaty, it has no negotiation and no labor union in the last 10 years and all of them is big boy they're driving bends. And they tell you, Look, Jason, I tell him what to carry to court. City Corporation walking down there by West Morin, close to the white people place, and swim call is up here in the dump. Them getting a hazardous allowance, and all they are even getting a coffee tea in swim call. And I hope we have to go to court with swim call to get milk for the workers working there in that Come and stop it. Stop the milk. Stop the tree. 
Yung hunting na stop. So, Yanni. Yanni. You hear me? Yeah. Before you yeah. go, I want you yeah, to yeah, send yeah. a message. I want you to send a message to the minister. I think the minister of public utilities, utilities is in charge of swim pool. Is he? Is, is yeah. Marvin, Marvin Gonzalez? Marvin Gonzalez. Right. So before you go, I want you to send a message to the Minister of Public Utilities, Marvin Gonzalez. Well, I've been begging. I've been begging for the heirs of Mr. Marvin Gonzalez. Everybody say that he, he, he seems like he's interested in doing the right thing. But since before I retire, the union tell me to send letters to Marvin Gonzalez, make appointment, we even, we even pick it to the office, right? And to highlight the issues. We never get no word from Marvin Gonzalez. Mr. Gonzalez come to me, you know that it have a place named Swimkull. We have a board of directors with a chairman. We just go in front of a ministerial committee to talk about workers who is slave. Because all government essential workers' salary above four thousand dollars. These workers started to put in the last, and we had to demonstrate on the highway to move it from forty dollars. We get the pay we get now. I since in twenty thirteen, from thirteen to twenty million and I something we do. I think all these things in record. It's a hard drive. It's a black and white. It's a copy. They do the most of the union. They tell the union no negotiation going on, but we don't have to have a negotiation. The position on which part they had the waste had to move from here and come up here. Marvin Gonzalez could highlight it if it go to part. It takes more than Marvin Gonzalez to take a ministerial committee because this is not affecting the workers alone. It's affecting Trinidad and Tobago. Right? In 2022. Where is climate change and all of that? You can't have people and this pandemic dumping exposed waste on a landfill and covering it with dirt. That 1940 thing. You have to be doing waste separation, engineer landfill, have people properly get properly people, proper salary, proper management, and put the right people and the right thing in place. Don't take a man and give him a job to be a CEO. Or a manager because he's your friend or he's in your political party. Mm. Look for a man who has qualification in ways. And any mm. of them could go in the court and stand up face. And none of them have no degree from you, you know, way in ways. But that big thing called seeing both ways. That makes mm. sense. So you have a go and you are in Captain Tan Macy. That makes sense. Mm. To work in a go People who qualify to pack in shelf and know how to put this here and that there and them don't put other experience. You don't take people for a political affiliation and give them a big job. You could damage your own country, you're damaging your economy to because the person getting paid up, they're doing nothing. And they can own 40 and 50 thousand a month. And the people who don't need staff who drive in truck who go in and pick up bin and expose the dangers and risking the life we're even giving them two thousand dollars that makes sense so when these people leave the job account to my good sister was speaking and they say we are picking up no ways you will actually not go and smell stink and half of them going and dead i already i ready long time i ready so i can remember i tell you and they go one thing i tell them me doing nothing for them kind of money or the pain i done at that and the vex the victim my nurses and they give me a letter to him give me a letter to and just not to go by a lawyer why is it have a union i try to go by the minister i reach out by the minister office them do want to hear me them want to pick something let the minister talk about day and you may defy him just know his name and why not think is the name the, then they bring leon then he fire Lee Hunt. Yeah. Now we bring this Mr. Marvin Gonzalez. And then all this happening, it have a minister of labor. He named McClatchy. Mm. And I can tell him live on the air. He come from the McClatchy family from Toko. Once he's a McClatchy, 
he come from him of Kachi family from Toko. So he's supposed to be saying something coming from in that kind of lineage. He's supposed to know the labor and these people don't get and the union could end up in court too. Okay, okay. The lack of okay. representation for all kinds of people's life, a sacrifice, having them working in an unhealthy insanitary way. Okay, okay. 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 And they've been compensated 200 million and things for his little black people. Look, Jason asked him the 60 or 70 people working on all the land. I know Chinese, I know Indian, I know Syrian, I know Spanish, it's black people. So, 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 you know, yes, really. I want one to moment, say to you, one moment. I want to say to you, uh, um, hold on, hold on, man, that, um. That that what you just put there, we're gonna make mm -hmm. sure and get that information to the Minister of Public Utilities, Marvin Gonzalez. And mm -hmm. you know, we're gonna we're, we're gonna cut that out and, and, and send a message to Marvin mm -hmm. Gonzalez for you and Jason. You know, mm -hmm. so Jason, before you go, any closing words, Jason? Or, or? in here he's gone, his internet. Mm -hmm. Oh no, no, no. Oh he's come back. Still there. Yeah, just before you go, yeah, any closing yeah, words? Yeah. 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 Well, as I, as, I, as, I, as, I, as I said, as I said the other night, um, and I've become mad, um, highlighted and all. It's really actually time for the persons in society, mute Rennie society to really take it. Well, yeah. You can't. You can't mute Rennie on the chat. Wow. Our waste management. Mm. 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 Well, go ahead, Jason. Yeah. Yeah. It's to let this, the, the, the Prime Minister and the Line Minister and, and those in authority know that this situation with our waste management system is definitely a national emergency. And as I said the last time I did this, um, I was on this platform at y'all, it's time to place some urgency and priority towards this serious, serious issue because they're generating and cocktailing and engineering a pandemic right here in this country. That will affect the whole country, as my, as my comrades say, to sing this whole country, you know, to the detriment of all the citizens. So, um, Jason and, and Rene, we want to thank you guys so much, man, for, for giving us some time. Mm -hmm. And um, Jason, we'll follow you want to keep us up to date. Mm -hmm. And how things definitely, are going. Definitely, definitely, and, and, definitely. And, right. and, and, and Renny, stay the course, man. You have a lot to offer to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Thank yeah, you any, for joining any us. Any closing words before you go? Any closing words? I think he's hold here. on, hold on. All right, I'll mute his mic. Hold on. Any, any closing words before you go? Any closing words before you go? Are you hearing me? All right, he's going. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, Jason. We'll stay in contact. Mm -hmm. All right, take care. Okay. Thank you. Okay, right. thank you all again. Thank you all again for the, um, for the platform, man. All right, all right no problem. Yeah, all right, thanks again. Bye-bye. Top of the hour, John. So. Yeah, I, I, I ran it. I ran it from okay. the um, station. Okay. Yeah. All right, there we go. Not, not, not a misfortune of a black person under a black prime minister. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what? The black man ain't doing too well. And you wonder why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Takesha, I really don't know nothing about that Morris Marshall Foundation. Huh? Mm. I don't know why I'm to that. You should ask, you should ask, um, ask for Gerald Hines or, um, <laughs> or what is that for her name? Um, was the one who was the um, MP again? What is that for a name, boy? Leons? No, no, no. He's from Moval until East. Mm. I forget that fella name, yes. The fella who was the MP before um Hines? before um Fitzgerald Hines. Mm, I don't know. Who was the MP before Fitzgerald Hines? Anybody in the chat know? Uh Takisha, what? I feel Fishy was still living down here 
he might would have get hard. I feel Diana would train him when he come home for vacation. He would get the building paint. <laughs> They're talking about your hands, <laughs> If if I was in building, if I was in Trinidad, I wasn't getting them building painted all your mad. Hmm. They, they, they would have done, I don't know what they would have done. They would have done silence me long time, boy. <laughs> Get the building painted. Tommy, welcome, boy. Tommy! Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. I, I realize a lot is going on in the village tonight. Yeah, boy. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. No doubt about, no doubt about it. it. I'm sorry to be late. I'm having some long days. Mm. Okay. Hey, Rajvi. Feedback, Ra Tom. Rajvi. Yeah. 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 If USA get back Trump as president, the war will stop before it starts. Facts. <laughs> I don't know, boy. Rajvi. I don't know, you know. You, you might have a point there because Trump is actually Putin puppet. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, you know, <laughs> pull my string and I'll blink at you. I'm yeah, your yeah, 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 yeah. Pop it on a string. Albert Montano said, As some have been saying for a long time, if we deal with the problem at the start, things will not have been this bad. It's right. Oh, it's, uh, it's gotta ask this question now. Nah, Fish stick, Jason, no work for the Arima dump, he work in the um, beat them dump. <laughs> But you know, boy, them fellas and owners get real bad treatment and shoot and all, boy. How you going to treat them people? How you going to treat them people so, boy? And you know what my thing is? Yeah, you owe this... Way? You owe this gratuity. And you, it's like you gotta, you gotta kiss the bottom of their feet to get your money. I don't know what's wrong with them, you know? It's like a bourgeois society. In a way, you see me? I glad I work a brief period in Trinidad and Tobago. All you could keep that money. Me don't want it. I ain't going away begging nobody for nothing. All you don't want to give me nothing, keep it. To I don't want it. To kiss you, I go ask Aisha about the Morris Marshall program. As a matter of fact, let me kiss you, let me send you a text. Mm. Let me send you a text right now. She's going to answer to Keisha. To Keisha, send you a prompt, man. Let me ask Aisha Wells about the Morris Marshall program. You know where I go. Let me ask her. What happened to the Morris Marshall Foundation? Aisha Wells. What happened? What happened to the Morris Marshall Foundation. So, Tekisha, I have a next question for you. What about the foundation that Jack Wanner established for McCandell Dagger? What about that foundation? What to that foundation? All right. Troy Smith said, War started, oil and gas going up, and Rowley pipe out Petrochin. Big failure. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. You think thing, you think thing going up yet? <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, what we have any back here, boy. Let me see what we have any back here. Um you know, I, I, I was saddened by what happened in um in in, in West Morin today. Yeah. And I, I don't wish that on my worst enemy. You know, I mean I saddened by all the people that are losing their lives because of this unnecessary killings. You know, you what, just what? walk walk and just killing you people for what? You see that one? You see who he is? Who he's in? All right, about the secret deal. Let me read. Let me read that. Um. Let me read that report. I think I sent that report. Let me read that report for you guys. Eh? I know. I think I sent this one, but let me see if I get it. Hold on. With a plan to bring back a tra the train now? What is that? No, oh, no, no, no. But there's also something else, right? Mm. Um, China, mm. China rejects calling Russia move invasion, urges citizens in Ukraine to stay at home. 
The surprise? <laughs> well, not really. Okay. <laughs> but I tell you, if IQ 45 was in that White House, it would be he, Putin, and the other fella, Jing Chi, or whatever he named. Okay? But Kim Jong Un. No, no, not Kim Jong Un. What the guy up in China name? I'm mixing them up now. Okay? All right. See? See? Well, I can't get the name at all. <laughs> um, let me get this one here. I, I have this one here. I'll look at it. Let me see if this is it. Um, no, that's not it. That's not it. Okay, hold on. B O D. Let me see. And 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 they would have had alliance from Maduro or whoever down in Venezuela on the south side there, watching the watching the, the that south side of the uh, Pacific, the Atlantic there. You know, watching what going on, eh? I am, you know, so, safeguarding so, their interests. Okay. So here is here is one of the things that 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 could affect Russia, right? Mm -hmm. What is SWIFT banking system, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let me let me move this from here. So Vladimir Putin, Russia could be cut off from the global financial system if countries decide to boot, boot it from SWIFT. Mm. Current health as President Biden and other world leaders more additional sanctions against Russia over his decision to invade Ukraine. One of the most severe proposals will sever the Kremlin access to SWIFT international payment SWIFT system. The SWIFT system or social or the SWIFT system or society for Worldwide interbank financial telecommunications facilitates financial transactions and money transfers for banks located around the world. The system is overseen by the National Bank of Belgium and enables transactions between more than 11,000 financial institutions in more than 200 countries around the world. Without access to SWIFT, Russia and its financial institutions will be effectively cut off from international business transactions. For example, Russia will be unable to secure profits from international sales of oils and gas production deals that, compri that comprise more than 40% of countries' revenue. The economic consequence will be severe enough that some experts have likened a swift cutoff to a nuclear option in terms of economic sanctions. When the U.S. and allies considered a similar penalty against Russia following its takeover of Crimea in 2014, some Russian politicians suggested the action will constitute a declaration of war. Aside from joined Russia IRA, a swift cutoff could have far-reaching consequences for the global economy, such as limiting access to fuel supplies during an ongoing energy crisis. So, I mean, when you go to the bank, like if I, if you're going to make a wire transfer to Trinidad and Tobago, you have to input your SWIFT code, you know, on the form in order for you to do the wire transfer. So, but that, however, uh, however, Anselm, an article here in the Times it says sanctions only work when they force behavior change, but in Putin's case, they won't. Well, no, 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 no. When them oligarchs and them can't transfer money, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The <laughs> then they go, then they go, yeah. When you, when you, I always say when you hit the that 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 Caucasian in his pocket, then he's like, hey, 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 this ain't good. The whole thing will change up. The whole thing will change up. You're right. You're you know, absolutely I, right. As soon as that happens, all them mm -hmm. friends are going to start to call Putin. Putin, partner. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. You mean we can't? <laughs> We can't access none of the money. We can't access the money in England. We can't access our money in the United Kingdom. We cannot access our money in Canada. Mm -hmm. Partner, you got to fix that, eh? Mm -hmm. Okay, here it is. So, so this is, this, is, this is what's up on the screen here. Let me put this up on the screen. Secret deal, right? This is an article in The Guardian by Curtis Williams. Secret deal, government agrees 
Atlantic LNG train one is dead. February 23rd by Curtis Williams, lead editor of business of The Guardian. All the while telling the country it's still in negotiation, the Keith Rowley administration has quietly walked away from any hope of salvaging Atlantic LNG train one and has instead signed an agreement with Royal Dutch Shell and National Gas Company and BPTT to utilize train two, three, and four into a single train. The government announced the plan to have a single LNG train facility and that it has signed a heads of agreement, HOO, with the multinationals and the state-owned company, but it never told the country the term of the agreement. The business garden, however, received a copy of the HOO, HOA, and it shows that the government has agreed to the three train facility. In the HOA, the government identified one of its main objectives as being the sustained operation of the youth unutilized, the, sub, the sustained operation of the unitized facility as a three train facility. TNT has four LNG trains. The business garden have also learned that in the process, Chinese investors in train one are out and NGC shareholding in the restructured entity will not be affected by the closure of train one. This was confirmed to NGC by BPTT and Shell, the two major shareholders in Atlantic LNG. In announcing the signing of the HOO, HOA, a release from the Ministry of Energy said, the Atlantic LNG facility comprises four LNG trains, each with different shareholder structures and commercial arrangements. It was agreed that the Atlantic LNG facilities will be managed more efficiently if brought under the framework of a single ownership structure, giving the impression that the restructuring involved all train when it knew fully that it was not on the table. Somebody so, answered the question, Hippolyte. Now, yeah, Hippolyte. Yes, yes, Hippolyte. So folks, again, um, they could have come clean and they didn't decide to come clean. And that, that's part of the problem that we have had with the government of Trinidad and Tobago over the past seven years. You know, it's a problem of being transparent with the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Transparency oh. and accountability. And here is the next one. Answer them. Yeah. That um, SWIFT thing you talk about, right? It's putting mm. sanction against Russia via mm. SWIFT, right? Mm -hmm. uh, something here uh, w, uh, w .bbc com. it mm -hmm. says that, um, Putin has been setting up a parallel system to SWIFT and not relying mm -hmm. on it so much and they've been doing their things guess through who? China well you didn't see China okay. didn't see? <laughs> you yep. know that, that, yep. that's a good point mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. If you and China in bed together, you don't mm -hmm. need the rest of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And they can't do both of them nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. You see, Trump try all kind of tariff. They had a tariff for China. No, who, mm -hmm. who wins that war? Mm -hmm. Nobody wins that war. You remember nope. um, I'm singing so I just song we played at the beginning? Nobody wins mm -hmm. that war. Mm -hmm. But they also Nobody said it could be that. a. It certainly could be a dangerous game for Moscow. Sanctions on major Russian banks, particularly state banks, would hurt. But President Putin may be calculating that the US, the UK, and the UE, EU have slightly different strategic interests to consider. It is obviously easier for some countries to impose sanctions on the Russian oil and gas industry than it is for others. The EU, for example, gets 40% of its natural gas supplies from Russia. The UK gets 3%. Germany's decision to put the Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline on hold, therefore, is damaging for Russia, but will have a direct impact on energy prices in Western Europe as well. So, you see, it, you see they hurt. Whatever happens, you know, he's hurting people, you know, all around. All around, yeah. So he's lining up his own swift uh, parallel swift system. 
And China is at the hell at the helm right there. <laughs> okay. Not hearing you. Not hearing you, Anselm. I might need it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know in in this day and age with Russia being so aggressive. I don't know how you fight Russia with sanctions, no? Mm -hmm. I, I watch it. Know. Notably, it says sixteen percent of Russia's foreign exchange is now actually held in dollars, down from forty percent five years ago. About thirteen percent now held in Chinese renminbi, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. So you know what's going on, right? So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guy. Yes, nylon hippolyte. <laughs> and I gotta be, you know, when nylon hippolyte was there, I had a I had a kind of a relationship with nylon hippolyte. Eh? You know, he brought mm -hmm. me to St. Babs. You know, I talked to the kids in St. Babs. We had a nice, you know, a, a, a little celebration up in St. Babs. He, you know, I mean, I don't think he was a bad MP. I don't know much about him, but I don't think he was a bad MP. Mm. Okay. So, uh, first thing I don't know why Trinidad didn't pardon with Exxon Guyana. With Exxon, Guyana is doing well with them. No, it's not. It's not. It's not the matter. It's, it's Guyana that want to partner with Trinidad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not Trinidad wanting to partner with 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 with, with Guyana. Yeah, but but you know I mean, I don't know. I I really don't know. You know, I, 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 um, I, I, for the last, I, I have to say this, everybody. these past seven years in Trinidad, I never ever thought the day we will see, you know, these type of things that we are seeing in, well, we had a pandemic to her, and I don't want to make excuses, you know, with respect to the pandemic, but, you know, Every day something different. Hmm. I thought we used to say that on from 2010 to 2015, yeah, but you know. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I... Albert Montana says his son knew Hippolyte. Okay. So I want to play. You know, I told you guys that. Watson Duke and um, Chavez, Farley Chavez, I guess. Yeah, Farley Chavez. Oh, let me, let me play this one before. Eh? Oh, let me watch this one. Eh? Um, going into a new business. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like Olive too bad. No? Olive is an entrepreneur. This is selling green roses. What is he selling now? Well, he was selling green roses. Now he, he was in a well, bed and breakfast. We sell it. I don't know. Check it and see. Uh, is he selling some type of bush? Yeah, yeah it looked oh. like bush. It looked like bush and shoot. <laughs> no, isn't it green bush? <laughs> hey, we know we never get the um, we never get anything from Nadia to put it up. Mm -hmm. She probably don't Nadia, want a we... pitch. She probably don't want her picture up. Bring a, bring a Avita. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, or selling bush. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm looking like my one. So, boy. This is Oric New Business. Mm -hmm. Oric New Business. <laughs> I like, you know, I like him to buy you. You put them decoration with them tomatoes there to make it look good. Right? Wait, wait, wait. You see the box in the background that say Allen's Bakery too? Where, where the boxes? Over there, it's a little, little, little Allen's Bakery. You ain't seeing it? No, no, no. I ain't see it. No, no, no. Allen's Bakery. Allen's Bakery. That is the box. You remember that box? The Allen's Bakery. Them tomatoes look, don't look like organic tomatoes, boy. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is that? Pak Choi? Choi Pak. I don't even know what that is, to be honest with you. 
I don't know what it is. Sorry, pack. So here is here is the thing, right? I've told you guys that the leader of the PDP, the chief, the big old chief, is a transformational leader. And them PNM people vex too bad that I call the man a transformational leader. Oh, I want dear. you all to listen to this. Oh dear. But take some lidocaine and get over it. <laughs> Who said that? Who then? I tell them. <laughs> Why? What are they saying? They vex with you because you call them transformational leader. You know? Yeah. Take take some lidocaine, put it in the gum, put it in the tongue, put it in the ears, wherever, and get over it. Or smoke a tampi or something. I don't know. What? Are you encouraging them to smoke? Well, they're encouraging them to plant for a plant. So they're allowed to, if they plant it, they're smoking it. Plant some red ones, though. And this is interesting, though. I want you all to listen to this. All in a sudden. Mr. Augustine described the delay in payment of salaries to CPEP workers as unacceptable. It is, uh, quite honestly, vexing that you know it has still taken this long to bring their salary payments up to date now part of the problem um we later learned was because in december just before the election some 100 new workers were taken on in the cpep uh, program uh, and that was an executive consultation he said the administrator in the Division of Community Development was written to in a strongly worded letter. I apologize to the administrator if my tone in that letter was pretty sharp, but it needed to be. And I, upon advice from the executive council, I instructed the administrator of that division that they needed to pay the workers all of their outstanding salaries by Friday this week as a matter of instruction from the executive council. Not if, no ifs, no buts, no maybes, but the instruction from the executive council is that the division must honor the salary commitment to these workers and do so by Friday. They must get all the outstanding salaries. Mr. Augustine said not only CPEP workers are owed the salaries, but reforestation workers also. And this is not good enough. He said action must be taken. So what we have done as an executive, and for that was effective from last week, is that we authorized the division to temporarily, notice just my words, temporarily bring on back those existing um, contractors that they wanted to dismiss temporarily so that they can facilitate the payment of the workers who, by the way, continue and continues continue to work. Elizabeth Williams, you see? You see? Mm. Mm. You see? Look, mm -hmm. look. Uh, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Them billion back workers. Mm. What do you see? Transformational. I'm telling you, transformational. I still studying. I still studying what's going on on the Marv. Why Marvin Gonzalez named as being everything though? In well, what's a thing? He, why, why, why? I mean, I'm no, not he, He's Minister of Public Utilities and it seems like a lot going on. He's Minister of Public Nothing. That's what it always seems like. No, I, 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 I want to give uh, that yeah, for yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah, of credit. Yeah, 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 because he's a PNM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's no, Minister of Public Nothing. He ain't doing nothing because everybody, they, they, every time you hear his name call, everything in shambles. The work, the roads in shambles, Wasa in shambles, the dump in shambles. <laughs> Let me give him credit. Please. No, because but 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 remember though, he's, 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 he's new, you know. I don't give a I don't give a rat's behind. Do your job or go leave and go somewhere. Go go from there. Get somebody work that can do the work. Every every time the name call is something that in total disarray. He like he's the minister of disarray. That's what he named. Minister of disarray. I gave him a new title. 
That's what he is. Don't, don't let he, uh, please don't let he be prime minister in making it. Deputy prime minister, I beg you, please. But the country Diana, be in I hear total disarray. radio station and suggesting that he become the future prime minister of the country. Oh, Jesus, Father God. <laughs> Father God, help, help Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> Lord, oh. Only in real, only in real back on all now. Just heard from the Ukrainian Hold president. On. Hold on, then. Hold on. This was earlier today. Uh, in, a, in a statement that he posted to social media, say that Russia has attacked military infrastructure and the border control in many Ukrainian cities. Uh, noting, noting that people, that people can, can hear explosions. explosions. He, he also, also announced that uh, uh, he's imposing martial, martial law uh, to the whole state. He says, quote, today we need each and every one of you to stay calm and stay at home if you can. We are working, the army is working, all sectors of defense and security of Ukraine is working, uh, continuing with a common theme, trying to keep people uh, calm, trying to keep people from panicking in what is and there, there we Ali, go. I just heard uh, the first siren has just gone off. Uh, and I've been told by city officials that that indicates that this is a city under attack. That, again, is the first time we have heard sirens in the capital key. Mm. Mm -hmm. Another large boom, another indication that this capital is under attack. Again, we heard from uh, an advisor to the Minister of the Interior say that crews and ballistic missiles are being fired at Kyiv, targeting uh, military installations as well as airfields. Another boom just heard to my right. This is we're hearing reports that residents here in the capital are fleeing in the distance. I can see a highway and lines of traffic essentially leaving the city. People here are waking up absolutely terrified. Worth keeping in mind that this is something that people here thought would be absolutely unthinkable. Even military experts up until yesterday were telling me they did not think that Russian President Vladimir Putin would go after the Ukrainian capital. They were well aware of the military presence. Some 30,000 Russian troops moved into neighboring Belarus, which is about, oh, I don't know, a three or four hour drive from here the border so they know they knew the threat was there they just never thought uh, that this would actually happen it is a stunning reality to stand here in the ukrainian capital of Kiev in a flak jacket telling you that this capital is now under attack and once again people here uh, are absolutely terrified and, and, and are now hearing however from uh, an advisor to the minister of the interior saying that tanks are crossing the border from Belarus into Ukraine. A live stream uh, apparently shows uh, a stream of tanks at the St. Kivka crossing. I was at that crossing uh, some three weeks ago. Uh, it, it's a remote crossing. It's, it's a set, it essentially marks uh, the intersection of Russia, Belarus, and Ukraine. Uh, I was there speaking to the border patrol guards there, and uh, one of the guards told me that she has been instructed if she sees anything to call the uh, Ukrainian military. And the issue, of course, being in that portion of the country. For years now, Ukraine has only known peace with Belarus. It is only until recently uh, that Belarus has assumed a hostile position toward Ukraine, and most of the Ukrainian military have been trained on the eastern portion of the country and the war raging in Donbass. So the northern border has been identified as a point of vulnerability. I've spoken to Ukrainian military experts about it. They were aware of it. They were trying uh, to mitigate that. They were uh, conducting exercises in recent weeks along the northern border. I think the question now, given that tanks are crossing from Belarus across the border into Ukraine, is how will the Ukrainian military respond? It is not clear at this point. And it is worth noting that the that border crossing is about a three and a half hour drive from where I'm standing now, Ali. Uh, do, do, do we have any clarity on, are those Russian troops coming in from Belarus or are those Belarusian troops coming in from Belarus, or do we not know? It, it is unclear at this time. And all I have right now is tanks 
uh, are being seen crossing the border. It's unclear if yeah. it is from Russia, Russian troops or uh, Belarusian troops. Um, but also unclear um, if they're coming to Kyiv, um, but they're certainly headed in the direction of the capital. Um, meanwhile, here in the capital, people continue um, to evacuate uh, the highway uh, going west to the western portion of the country, which is widely seen as the safest place to be at this point, is completely jammed. Uh, this is a city under martial law. Schools are closed today. Um, hospitals, the entire medical system is on a state of heightened alert. Um, we're also hearing that they're working to uh, open up the shelters, speaking to city officials. Um, they have enough shelters here for about 2.8 million people. At night, there's about 3.5 million in the city. So, so we, we are, are also hearing reports that when those sirens were going off, directing people to get to the shelters, many of the shelters were completely packed. Wow. So this is a really scary and terrifying situation for uh, the people here. And it is worth noting that up until this point, the government has been downplaying this threat and speaking uh, to experts in the buildup to where we are now, and they were critical of that. They said that, you know, while yes, you want to maintain calm, you don't want people to panic, you also need to inform your population as what to do in the event of the worst case scenario. And I can tell you, Ali, right now, this certainly appears to be the worst case scenario, which is an all out full scale invasion of this country. Including the capital. And you're right, not even until a week ago, you had the, uh, this is the president of, of Ukraine suggesting that maybe the West needs to uh, lower the heat. So you see, man, there you have it, man. That's the last thing you want to wish on anybody, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, nobody... that's the brilliant experts for you, all the educated people, the university graduates, right? Well, let me tell yeah. you something. It comes that time when you have to fight, okay? Talk done. <laughs> so I say we need to get in there with the rest of the um, allies, and we need to go after Putin himself too. Do all mission. Okay? Mm. Take out the head. That's what I will do. Send mm. the troops for for them up in the Ukraine up there and then to go for Putin himself also. That's my recommendation. <laughs> okay? I don't play, you know. I don't mix matters. When it comes to, when you see, when it comes to losing lives like that, the response is too damn slow. Okay? And at this point, talk done. That's my, that's what I got to say. Talk done. So Biden better step up his game. So, so where, you, where, where you should go, in Ukraine or in Russia? So I would send a team to get Putin himself, and I would I would send the army out there, and the various forces to get to deal with the the. Um, but but yeah, these people, you you how how do you respond to missiles flying into your country? Mm. How do you stop that, really? Mm -hmm. You know, you can't fight yeah. that with guns. Nope. You can fight the ground troops, but when missiles starts flying in, you know, how how do you respond to that? Yep. You know, so you, you gotta you gotta nail you gotta hit the point where the missiles coming from, and I would say go after Putin himself at this point. I will send a team to take him out. Oh, and that's yeah. the kind of man you're dealing with here on this end. I will come for you. So if if Trump was in power, you think anything would have been different? No, he won't try it with Trump because Trump was Trump was uh, yes, he didn't make the move with Trump. Trump was greasing him. And I wouldn't be surprised if Trump pushing is uh, encouraging him there at this end. I won't be surprised. Hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on. I won't be surprised you get any encouragement from Trump. Hold on, eh? Hold on a minute. I wanna. I, I just wanna get this song here. This is what. This is what. Um. Actually and for the criminals, on. the criminals who are invading people home in the country. We gotta mm -hmm. step up our game there too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I already tagged. I, I already tagged my friend. Or what my recommendation is, and I'm afraid to say it publicly or privately. All right. So anytime you want to talk. No, enough is enough. Now you can't be in your home and uh, you know. You know you no, know, but these, these young people think they can get away with it. I just have to get away with it. I just have to put this in there. Who was caught? 
Man living with man, woman with woman. So how must I live my can't understand? Look, I'm frightened to live. I'm frightened to live. I'm frightened to live. Sing. I'm frightened to live. I banned it in my face with a gun. Take my gun inside, we can to run. I mean, the station reporting what the bandit do. I was the same bandit, my boss reporting. Look, I'm frightened to live. I'm frightened to live. I'm frightened to live. Sing. I'm frightened to live. Come again, let me hear. I'm frightened to live. Where you? I'm frightened to live. One more time, come again. I'm frightened to live. Hey. I'm frightened to live. Hear me now. Hey. It is so obnoxious when I look around. Things I just hear and see, my God, how could I go on? Children killing children every day. We are as guiding their children to go astray. Tell me how those who's getting all those guns, and where in the world those guns coming from? Yes, we are frightened to live. Who are you? I'm frightened to live. Come again. I'm frightened to live. Sing. Yes. Okay. If in my ceiling if I cook and gun, is my whole family they carry it up. But if the police get caught, they say we free. All they get in is transport to the crime and they see I'm frightened. Hey, I'm frightened. I'm frightened. I'm frightened. Sing! I'm frightened to Music! Now you see this ghost? This ghost is my ghost. I love this. I want to listen to my ghost. My ghost. My ghost. My ghost. My ghost. Hey! Hey! If I were trying to die by the hands of a bandit, police may have way such thing in their back. Catch it up quick. But if Mr. Big Man shall end up dead, they're going to be the old damn comrade, putting out for force and energy, fighting the killer immediately. So how must I live? Well, you, I'm trying to live. Come again, I'm trying to live. Hey, get this, get this, hey. I told the church be that's the answer. Listening to the speech on the altar, while taking in the words of the Almighty. You know the priest felt in sweet I have me. You see, I'm right to live. I'm right to live. Sing. Come again, let me hear. I'm right to live. Hey, I'm right. One more time, one more time, one more time. Yeah, one more time. Yeah, the man say, the man say you frightened to live, boy. The priest pelt and sweet diet. He's pelt and sweet diet, <laughs> man. Frightened to live. Oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> oh. That, like, yeah, that, that fella is our boss, you know. Oh, uh, let, let, I'm going to play this other one here real quick. We're going to get back to the um to the talk. Hold on, huh? Hold on. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. The man say you frightened to live. Frightened to live. You fella real good, you know. Hold on. This bandit war eh? affecting the rich and, and poor. poor. I see the bandit war. Frustrating the boys and girls. Uh, yeah. You don't want to be a capitalist. To be on the wanted list. The operation is run out of time. I'm going to walk in the black is one. The hundred million is in it. No. We want to go. We want to go. Back the bandit. Look him there. Look the bandit. 
Oi, oi, oi. Lovely bandit. Lovely marketing tongue. That's the bandit. Oi, oi, what? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Get away. Eh, eh. Eh, 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 eh. Oi, oi, oi. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. But if I get touched, that's a bandit. Look the bandit. I call you ain't hear me say he the first one I call. Embert is a bandit. You want me to repeat the list for you? Embert is a bandit. Rowley is a bandit. Hines is a bandit. A quiet one. Uh Donna Cox is a bandit. They all sing is a bandit. Gonzalez is the biggest one tonight. Yeah. All all is bandit. Matter of fact, that let me come on camera. That whole PNM clan is a bandit. That whole PNM clan is a bandit. No, 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 no. Yep. You, yep. 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 That's you. you. That's that? you. No, oh, you that, can't. That, you, that, I don't you, care. That whole you can't PNM paint a clan. Is, I don't care. That you whole PNM them, clan is a bandit. Them all of them is bandit. All of them. The ones that left close up the, the embassy here, the, the consulate office, and left people stranded, them is bandit too. I'm calling <laughs> the name. I don't care. Yep. All of them is bandit. 
Ha? Huh? People in the in was in in beat them can't get people can't get clean water to drink in where and beat them. This fella walked 20 years inside of that what? dump and all the car the money, he, he gratuity money, all his bandit. All the worst than Putin. Yeah. Go ahead. As you I said, said that, so. Dana Tommy and Gary, maybe we could start a daily, a daily or monthly bandit and look the bandit. Oh. Yeah, look the bandit. They all of them is bandit. Yeah. Because that but look up on the screen here. We have the former boxer, right? He boxed for Russia. Mm. Um, now he is the mayor and the man picking up arms, yes? Mm -mm. Former heavyweight champion, Vatali Klitschko, the mayor of Ukraine capital, Kiev, plans to take up arms to defend against Russian invasion along with his brother, Vladimir. Both of them Way were to... great boxers. Way to go. One was the heavyweight champion and they are Ukrainians. Ukrainians and them guys are them picking up gonna pick up ammunition, yes? Yep. Stuart is a bandit. Well, so the whole PNM clan, all all here. Just a bandit. Why, why are you calling the people bandits? Oh, I say so. The Bajan girls say so. All all is bandit. Bandit. Hmm. You want me to go? You want me to go? You want me to spell it for you? B-A-N-D-I-T. Capital period. I like that. That bandit. People mm. can't get the gratuity money. 20, 30. Ball they find money to, to, pay, to build a um, pig pen for people to go and whine in. Set a bandit all all there. Full, a title all there. Bandit. Mount Hope Junior Secondary School can't get fixed. Huh? Huh? The Minister of Education always have set a bandit. The children can't get away to go to school properly. Bandit. I know I caught this bandit. Children go to school at that school. They go fall through the fence. The, 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 the railing. The bathroom. It looked like the coronavirus growing in the bathroom. In the mole and the mildew on the wall. Huh? Only one minute. You, you, you want to tell you who bandit is now? Oh, let me, let me play that video. Let me play that video. I just say that. Let me play that video. I just say that. Let me play that video. By the way, um, I have to, um, Faris is not a bandit. Oh, them is bandit. No, you go call him a bandit. Oh, no. them is bandit. I don't care. I say so. The full title. The thing ain't working on them. Nothing ain't working on any that administration. Nothing. Work, nothing work, nothing well, work. I, I want a song so when we um when when these bandits come in the neighborhood, we could play it on a loudspeaker. Uh, wake up nothing people. works. No? Huh? What do you think about that? When you these guys show up in the night send... trend, uh, play that song. Uh, you know what? Since you don't me, if I was there, I would have me some acid. You come in my house, I'ma burn you with it. I'ma scall you with it. You come mm -hmm. up in my house. You ain't, come, you ain't going back out of there the way you came in. Because you they, they coming in there to kill you. Listen to me. They're coming without fear. You know. These young people, yeah. they, they, they are coming totally fearless. They have gotten so comfortable with what they're doing that they know that they can get away with it. Right? Mm -hmm. So you have to protect yourself. Look, they kill. They shoot. They go on and get kill that woman. But where, 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 is the, where is the politicians uh, when it comes to standing up for us for our defense? All the hands are uh, wait, 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 hello. I can respond to that. Your illustrious, uh, brilliant uh, person that is in charge of the safety of the country say, eh, eh, he walked to make sure the country safe. Bandit! But you're getting paid. But you get the taxpayers' money Diana. to make sure that the, you I, you in charge. Yeah. Let the Bajan girls say we're all frightened to say I don't frighten but me frightened with nobody not now you know Gary. I I uh, uh, you getting money from the taxpayer from that same fella who work in the dump for all them years. You want me to go there? Huh? And you say that it ain't your job to make sure that he's safe and the other people say look all is a bandit. All they need to be removed. But then I, I, I offer my country the, uh, my, you know, the opportunity for me to work for them for free to secure them and they take it up. They need to be removed. It's sickening. Nothing works in Trinidad <laughs> and Tobago. I Nothing. Could get... <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I just play them song on them phone. All in a sudden. <laughs>
The whole chat goal is bandit now. Everybody's bandit now. Wait, wait. I, play, I was playing the song because of the bandit down in Westmore. I don't, I don't know why. Only let's take things out of context. No, that's a, that's a perfect song. Lovely song. It's a key well, shot. I, 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 I see the video I, 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 beating up on a particular girlfriend of mine in Trinidad and a radio station. But I'm very proud of she today. Mm. Who's that? She called let, people for this Japanese. Yeah, 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 yeah. For now. Yeah. She, for no, now. I was like, who's that girl? Wow. For now. She for now. For now, well, Gary. So she's not bandit anymore. Uh, uh, election. <laughs> uh, is there any election coming up soon? Any kind of by election? Anything coming up soon? Yeah, anyway? No kind of no I am. Oh, girl, okay. Man. I done talk. Uh, Gary, see past the trinket call now. See past the trinket call. Is a is a local election coming up soon? Maybe is yeah. she learning? She learning. It's, it's a else? local election coming up soon. Okay, that's all yeah. I is gonna say. Good. I don't talk. I see what you just said, Mary. Right? The one with the um the tank. I feel if I put that up, they might <laughs> they might block the whole show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they might block the whole show. The one with the tank. I see that 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 that, that, that very violent. Yeah, Thanks yeah, yeah. Don't damn me, did he? Yeah, the one yeah, but, the but, people but, but, dead but, and stuff. Yeah. They go, they go like pee up. Mm -hmm. But you know, mm -hmm. you, you, you guys are not easy, you know. I play this song because of the bandit in Westmoreland. Where all you going all over the place? All Where the bandits all everywhere. They were going into the house, killing the, them. The whole PNM. The whole P. This the man. whole PNM. Westmoreland is not the only place they're going. They're, they're going all the whole over, country. Listen, man. Man. I have no problem with them suffering the consequences of their behaviors. Damn, Skippy. I have no. I I I, I am a person. Consequences for your actions. Right, you involved in illegal consequences, right? It's sad that the young lady had to lose her life in but... she own home. In yeah, she yeah, own yeah, home, yeah, yeah. That was a... you know, in mm. hmm. she own home. That what I tell you, women. You see, you show she had to go and reach for the peace. The, the peace. Perhaps if she had the peace in she bosom at, at the time, she had probably she would have her life probably would have been saved. You are good, no, but no, but no, I keep um, telling, I keep it book for no, no peace. Keep it in your top up right, right here. We are right getting here. ambushed too often. We are getting <laughs> ambushed too often. It doesn't matter. Yeah. What you have, you got to have somebody watching so you mm -hmm. don't get ambushed. We have mm -hmm. to work together. Nobody is safe. Nope. No matter how high your wall is and what kind of security system you have. You got to have people watching in your community and they got to organize yourself to communicate. So yeah, you because don't they, they, they just ambushed. don't care. They just don't care. They, 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 they're marching. Remember Judge Wolney said they're coming down all the hills? They just don't care. They, they're just walking upon you. I, I see some people were liming a video. They were liming some in St. Augustine and they were at a bar and they were like drinking, and they were stop on this on the side of the pavement. Uh, they were talking to their friends, and two were sitting. They walk up to the people and take off the jewelry off of them right there, and uh, uh, and demanded whatever um, cash or whatever valuables they had on them. I mean, that, that, that's how that's the society is going into a state of decadence now. But but the a state of decadence. Speak the comment defenseless. Because they're making more noise about we applying for for gun license to defend I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm applying for no gun be. license. I'm a have me a spray bottle of acid on me. You come around me, I'm a spray in your bloody eyes, in the eyes. Anyway, what's right? Time to almost top of the hour. So let me go for a quick session identification. When we come back, we're gonna play a video that almost went viral on um on Facebook there, and it had something to do with one of our our um. One of our persons in the chat. Stick and stay on going away. It's in the village of the dark triplets on WZY 95.9 FM. We'll be right back after this short message. I know what's going on with this computer here. Yeah. Is that bandit? Yeah, I think I think our bandit sent something in the computer. <laughs> no, the computer is a bandit. Oh god. Oh, they're not easy. No. I, I, I had to watch them some of my picture, eh? 
I had to watch them songs I speak, but we'll be right back. You're listening to WZYE 95.9 FM. You are listening to WZYE 95.9 FM. The most influential name in Caribbean radio in the tri-state area. Broadcasting from East Orange, New Jersey. The most influential name in Caribbean radio. WZYE 95.9 FM. We're back with you. It's in the village with the Dak Triplets on WZY 95.9 FM. We come to you every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from 6 to 9 p.m. That's Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from 6 to 9 p.m. I'm trying to get this video. Somebody here. say, somebody say, um, some of them so-called activists is bandits. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, I, 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 hear that too. I hear that too. If I, I had to take a guess, so I, 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 I watch any chat. But I could guess. That that is one of that might be one of two people, but I ain't gonna guess. <laughs> Whoa! All you calling the people? Oh God, bro! All not easy, bro. Yeah, they all of them is a sort of bandit, bandit. People can't get nothing done. People oh. ain't get no food. People homeless. They ain't no work. That's it. bandit, bandit. Many money gone. Or did they have no money? All of a sudden, they find fifteen million. For carnival and people churn, people churn how to go to these schools. The bathroom looked like it got coronavirus growing on the wall. Hey, hey, speaking of that, right? When you want <laughs> to get rid of corona, you have a taste of carnival. So any country yeah! who wants to get rid of coronavirus must have a taste of carnival. And if you need advice on it, Trinidad and Tobago can help you. You see corona done into the country? You see man mm -hmm. on their jamming, no mask. Mm -mm. Party on. Party. Party on. Corona Boom. running from we people, you know. But I tell you, we got a secret recipe called punching. Oh, God. Troy, Troy Smith City Village. I'm a bandit. I wonder who that buddy is. Can you, tell, can you give me the initials, Troy? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, they had slave who's that bandit? <laughs> who's, who's that bandit, man? <laughs> you see, you, play, you shouldn't hmm? play that song. Yeah, I'm playing no more songs like I that. I need two videos of the chat with the athletes. <laughs> which, which one is that? <laughs> two videos with the athlete, athletes and them performing in turn down. I just sent any what's up there. It was on okay, the chat that we posted. <laughs> Two Olympic camps there, man, if you see them. Okay, hold on. What cyber warfare, Rajvi? <laughs> oh, oh, Rajvi said there's a cyber warfare. Walking up to you on the street and I'm pretending to be somebody, you know? Well, if you just see my face when I walk in the street, nobody ain't gonna come around me, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> the kind of face I just carry. Yeah, listen to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Them people nowadays don't Gary, feel that, yo. Trust me. Different generation. Gary. Generation of me. vipers. Gary, trust me. The way I just walk and the way I just look, I don't go there looking all preppy and like I come from America. I just blend in. And I just walk like a mad woman. Literally, okay? So you come around me, you're liable to get hurt. He, them, them ain't coming around me. Trust me when I tell you that. <laughs> I just give them a kind of stamp walk. <laughs> they ain't coming around me. Whoa. I don't wear no, I don't wear no jewelry. <laughs> the, the, I don't wear no makeup. <laughs> Five years ago, not now. But I'm telling you, they don't. I'm telling you, they don't. Nobody don't come around me. I just walk. I like just clear the way. <laughs> like who, who is she, boy? That's that's way out of walk when you're in Trinidad. I don't go in a fancy pocketbook on me. My money does be a certain place on me. Scatter. Yeah, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get this video <laughs> here, but um I know this video ain't one to play. Mm, that's what happened in Tunapuna. Hmm. Nobody coming up to me. I don't like they know me. Mm -mm. They did they, they try that in America here. I'm telling you. I said, get away from me. I don't know you. 
That's the right. Gameplay, you know? I don't know why that just happened, but you, you know what you had to do you had to do when they come up to you? Just 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 ball out rape and fire. That's all you had them all. Fire rape. Just look at you like what the ass. And ain't no fire, right? Ball rape and fire. Watch how fast they go run. <laughs> You're like, damn, what the hell is wrong with she boy? <laughs> When you when 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 women are in trouble, just ball fire. The ball help, you know, ball fire. You'll get more people looking to see where this fire is than if you ball for help. Right or wrong, Gary? All right, look, huh? look, look at him. All right, we know getting into play. So Gary we just get him? into play. Hold on. Now, nah, Gary, Gary, Gary. Want to tell me? Come here, I'm here, I'm here. Come here, say nothing at all. Yeah, 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 Hold on, this is video Monto. It's not no, it's not no song, but. Hmm. By the way, Lana. We're trying to get the president of the PTA for Montauk to come on the program on Saturday. So, Lana, Lana all right, when this finish, I'll, 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 I'll say something. So, this is the pictures of Montauk Secondary School. Uh, and these pictures were sent by Lana. Okay, okay. So, so Lana, Lana I, was I was contacted by, by the president of the PTA after she saw the um the video on Facebook and Curry's good night. And she wanted to come on the program to talk about the problems that they are facing. And they were a little bit upset about the video. And they thought that because the picture, it appears that the picture of the persons that I put was the principal and the president of the PTA. So the principal, I think, called the president of the PT and told her that she saw this video on um, Facebook. And, you know, she was thinking if she was going to ask the person to take it down. But the, the president of the PT said, no, you shouldn't ask the person to take it down because we are facing these issues. So, Lana, again, it only takes one person to make a change, mm -hmm. right? Only one person. That's what I tell people when you're coming. One match, to one match to light the fire. That's hey, it. Gary, we... Gary, I just sent you a message, a messenger check. Yeah, Go I ahead, know Barry. that. I know that. Okay. I ain't referring yes. to where location is. Okay. Robert Montana, good night. No, did you read the message? I understand what one you're saying. Good okay, good. I'm End not referring story. to, I'm just asking about what's what he thinks going on. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, Lana. Lana, so she says she got it, right? So she says she got it. And she really wants to come on and talk about the problems they're facing at Montau. And, and folks, that is why you guys have us here in the village. Mm -hmm. Things all they want to expose, all they send it to us, yep. and we go do the rest. That's right. Just send it to us and we go do the rest. All right? And That's we don't what we are here. We don't work for no PNM government. You're, the only body who work for PNM government is Ansler. I will work for the PNM. When is the last day PNM gave me a check? <laughs> I have never received a check from the PNM. 
Well, I have well, never well, seen. Well, let me okay. Let, let, let me retract that statement. The only person loyal to PNM is Antler. So yeah, and yeah, you know. So y'all can send whatever y'all want. We, I, I go blow them up. Blow, blow wait, everything. Wait, let wait, them, wait, wait, uh, wait. If we gonna blow people, the issues, we gonna blow the issues out the water. Let everybody know what's going on. Yeah, loyal people don't go against people who they are loyal to. Eh? Mm. Just remember that. Takisha, if Success Laventel School is to senators, mm -hmm. mm. I'm going to expose that too. And the next thing, and the next thing you got to address in, in, in the country is that Child Protective Service Unit Board. You got to find somebody with something in there. That's the next thing we got to get inside of because there's something going on there that years of investigation reveal, but people frightened to talk. And you, you, you're troubling children. And, and, and I understand. I saw Suzette Laurie did something about it. Hmm. All the troubling children grooming them. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Allegedly. Uh, mm. and, yeah. And, oh, <laughs> Rajri, what mark bus? No marking bus? <laughs> Rajri <laughs> say, or oh, street mark bus. <laughs> 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 you mean mark didn't get bus? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Choice me asking me why is all the government schools deteriorating? Choice me, you you ask me that. Because the, the, the 50 million well, went, went to pick we, pens. We're we, we trying to get Miss Nyan, Dolly Gadsby on, 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 on the village. You know, yeah, I, but mean, what, I, I hope but you what, accept. Once Kito's bush, she ain't coming. No, no, Kito's yeah, out yeah. the country. The, the, the blackest man in Trinidad out the country. But he, how long he going to be out for? Yeah, um, you know, about one, a week. okay. They went for a week. They went well, for a one, week. well, once she uh, once uh, the, the Grinch talked to her, she ain't coming because he's the one running the country now, right? He but was listen, acting prime minister. Now, listen, right? I invite okay. Gypsy too. I invite mm. Gypsy too. Mm. Yeah, this time he didn't read it. This time he didn't read my post. <laughs> yeah, because he doesn't know you are. Yeah, he doesn't know what you're all about. But, but, but I don't understand this. Eh? I have to be mm -hmm. honest with you. 15 million. Um, he read it this time. That's why I want to compliment Pastor Google. Eh? But, 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 but the question is, why are you picking on my prime minister complexion for? Because why he said it in complexion? a post. He said, <laughs> he, it said he... he said, he said, he said, he said he's the blackest man in he can be considered to be the blackest man in Trinidad and Tobago. Are you repeating what he says? All right, all right. If, if I repeat he, in your statement, you, you, you never heard him say that? Yeah, yeah, I'm just joking around some. Oh, no, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. Nadia yeah. say she not coming. Nadia, now nah, she coming. Because right. listen to this, right? This is why I want to congratulate Pastor Google. Pastor Google finally opened up his um opened up his show to any MP who want to come on the program. Hmm. And hmm. I tell him, what? Uh, I tell you're him, causing waves in Trinidad, boy. Woo! Yeah, I tell him, <laughs> oh God, <laughs> Nadia, 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 you're wicked, girl, you're wicked. <laughs> <laughs> now, Diana, you are laughing at, right? <laughs> what she do? What she say? Oh, look in the chat, Nadia, wicked, you're wicked. What's your eyes CNN? Oh, GPT for all the you. bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Know that. <laughs> oh God, only wicked by yeah, yeah. Let them go and film it and we go put it up. We go put it up and all they know all if it's one thing all they know. Eh? When we pop up, we caption. We caption alone. Does make people want to look at them things, eh? <laughs> I'm telling all you. Uh -huh. That's one thing. When we pop we caption, they just want to look at it. So, and listen to this, eh, Olya. This is about fixing Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. This is, ev politics is involved in everything, yes. But this is about fixing Trinidad and Tobago. Now, again, I want to compliment Pastor Google because I hear Michelle Benjamin already picked him up on it. You know? mm. So, i glad, i glad mm -hmm. that we finally stop this kind of thing where it's just, you know, anti or, or anti or pro. You understand? Mm -hmm. So we here in the village, we just invite all 
all to come in. Right? Mm. And when you come in, we're going to be respectful to you, but we're we going to ask you hard questions. We're not going to ask you no easy question. No, 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 fish stick. Michelle Benjamin already called him and said she's going. Mm. And Michelle Benjamin should go. She should go. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Michelle Benjamin should go, right? And when you go, you know, you, you, you should be ready with all your facts. I tell don't, you. Don't, it, just, it, go, don't go, just go places where you're comfortable. That's part of the problem we have in Trinidad and Tobago. People exactly. just go to media, where they only turn them once and that. You know, I hear, I hear some interviews with the Prime Minister, and I say, look, come on up, what, 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 are, <laughs> what, are, what, are, what are this really for, right? Mm-hmm. My point, my point precisely. He wouldn't come here on WZYE. I will drill him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's your friend, eh? That's your mother. That's your friend. 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 That's as the leader of the country. I ain't going down no kind of disrespectful road, but I will give him some very cruel... Uh, yum, yum, I, I mean, hmm, I will drill him some harsh questions. Yeah, I, I, I go go Christian, I'm on poor on he, but I will be very respectful. I have a hard question. I have some very easy questions for you. No, 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 I, I go in, I'm on poor on he. I know, I go in, I'm on poor on he, but I will be very respectful of it. Very. Fistic. Fistic to Keisha. To Keisha. Fistic to Keisha. Um, you, guys, to... you guys, yeah, I must know where about to get there. Somebody saying, Yeah, 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 yeah boy. Lana. Mm. Fistic to Keisha, Lana. Troy Smith. And um, to Keisha, Fistic. Uh, Albert Montano gone already. Albert Montano wife take away phone. So you gone. <laughs> and Carice. Could you guys put closing comments in the chat? Put closing comments in the chat. I ain't see Ellis again, but I don't call Ellis. Yes, boy. Ellis wife, Ellis wife wouldn't take away laptop, but you could only text now. <laughs> <laughs> Ellis, Ellis, hey, Fish tell Ellis that he could only text. Ellis could only text, text in the chat. Yeah, real big words, you know. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he big and bad, and no diner, Tommy and Guy. My wife take away. Wait up, Gary. Yeah, man. Somebody tell me your wife don't take away your phone too. Is that true? Boy, wife can't control this Indian boy. You know, I, I, I gotta you know, come I, for them. It, 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 because you know why? Because he ain't marry a Bajan wife. If you got a Bajan wife, that phone will be under heavy manners. Yeah, 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 yeah Lana. That's her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're know, quiet he gone. I, I know, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Tell him I say I'm not a man, I just a big belly man. That's a, uh, that's a major calypso, too. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah. I need to All right. Mm. So, folks, all you put, put, put closing comments in the chat. Let me see again. Fish stick to Keisha, Lana, Troy Smith, and Caris. Um. Mm. So, Saturday, I feel Saturday, we just, have a, we just have a musical special, you know. Go back to that musical special again. Remember that one we had the other night? Mm hmm. That one was pretty good. Enough. Uh, ask me to move somebody to Saturday. All right. Oh, now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, I, so I, I, can line, I can, I can so line up part, some tracks. Part and part if you want to do part and part. But then, I can, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring seen, bring seen about 7 10. Now. All right. That's when some tracks and some to line up that are not. Yeah, you know what? Yet. You know what? Also, mm -hmm. I, I might have the lady from the PTA coming in too. Oh, uh, okay. Mike. Because she says she had a meet. She says she had to meet with her executive to make sure she gets the okay before she comes mm -hmm. in. I know mm -hmm. she go come, but I know if Lana could Lana could tell she come, but she Rose says like Lana, good night. You know? <laughs> yeah, Rose, good night. Yeah, good night. 
Saya ya kan ulayan. Ha? Begin we bought land spoon and ulayan I think. Yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. We, we, we want we want we want an engine room. Yeah 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 yeah. Tommy, we want the engine room. John, 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 Michelle Benjamin is is a she girl. Are you sure? Yeah, we want. Yeah, I know. I, I want the engine, engine room. I tell you, I want the engine room. But sure. What kind of question you have? Okay, I I tell you, I want the engine room. I ask me for sure. Okay, I will. I will. I will throw the feelers to hire one for you. Bring the engine room in the show. Well, I ain't tell you to hire nobody. Hey, okay. hey, hey for stick, you should tell Michelle Benjamin she should go on the program. Because think about this, right? If she go on the program, uh, you can have a feed. If she go on the program, if she go on the program, she could say the things that she's doing in her constituency. And they need to they need to understand, man. You have to go on this program and have, let me tell you where it is, eh? If I if ever I'm an MP in Trinidad and Tobago, I go in on all them different programs. I don't care what program I go in. I want to go into the belly of the beast. Hmm. I don't just want to go on a radio station. Trinidad, they, 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 there's be politically biased and, and they just try to but, stifle certain things. But I, look, mm. Gary, I go in anyway. But I understand how they just operate there. So they, I know how they just operate, but I go in anyway. We here now as forced them in that position that they had to change their course of action. And we're just mm -hmm. getting started. So again, you know, the people in the chat, they are from various parts of the country. They could assist us by being our eyes on the ground. And like how Lana and others have done, you know, um, bring the things to us and we will highlight it here. Things that the press would not normally do in Trinidad. So, you know, so we will force them to change the game. You know, put them in the back seat. Yeah, they are saying those people at the dump want PPE, proper PPE to work. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. We, 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 yeah, yeah. We go. You see that one? I'm gonna cut that one out, and I'm gonna send mm -hmm. a message to the to the minister of public utilities. Yeah, you, you Gonzalez, are tired. Your name calling and everything. You major bandit, and you like you, you, you know, you don't care. No, you like no, you, you the no, major bandit. bandit. No, nah. yeah, I, I answer don't put words in my mouth. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, you, every year, a, 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 Wasa by Gonzalez, the road falling apart, Gonzalez, beat them, Gonzalez, the dump, Gonzalez. Ah, you need to resign and go home and give somebody else that job. Tired of hearing your name now. Him. He what? just come, he just come. Well, he ain't doing yeah. a good job. They need they, they need to um what do they call it? Furlough him. You know, he made some big talk when he take the job, but me it's for, for nothing yet. Furlough he and send he home and get somebody to work now. Because it ain't working. It ain't working. Everything, everything, you know, it's like falling apart on the needy. Furlough he. It ain't working. So yeah, you mean you mean you mean in a a, 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 a a primary thing as a pandemic, people ain't have no PPE to work with any dump. Oh God, that's common sense. That is common sense. You need to, these people need to be protected. They're going to no respect for you when you're poor, Gil. That's, that's the world out there. Come on. They're going to no respect for you when you're poor. But when you got somebody representing you and, and, and offset your game, then, you know, it really, we, we stir up the water a little bit. We trouble the water. <clears throat> hey, Rajvi, that arm, um, she won't have buy gun. <laughs> She want a big buy gun. That one I'll copy right on it. Oh Lord. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, as Raj V said, I'm gonna put it up on the screen here before all the good thing is me. Raj, Raj. V said, Well, she played Trinidad mad man. She want a big buy gun. Raj V, you're coming with a better song now. <laughs> what, 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 what a bygone doing in, in, with a bandit? You, you know what you know what's a bygone? How I many if I know that you know the bygone? Of course, I know it's a bygone. A bygone is a melon gin. Good. There we go. Move along. All right. All right. If you know what a bygone is, I born in Trinidad. I must know what a bygone is. So because you born in Trinidad, you know what's a bygone? You damn skippy. Not everybody knows what's a bygone. And I grew, up around, I, I grew up around Indian. I know what a bygone is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rajvi, 
You got to get a bike on some other, some other place. <laughs> You might gotta go down. You might gotta go down Knox Street in, in Port of Spain to get a bag. <laughs> oh God, oi! Or Murray Street. Oh, or Murray Street. <laughs> oh, what? What do you, Diana? What do you know about Murray Street? Huh? Hell, hello. I have what, a good what? paper that says I was born in Trinidad and Tobago. All right, all right. You talk okay. about Murray Street. <laughs> Tommy, closing comments. Tommy. Yes, sir. Tommy. Yes, sir. Yeah, closing comments. Closing comments. Well, um, I wish everybody a, a great rest of the night and a pleasant day. Tomorrow until Saturday, we'll see you again. A little bit tired, so all the best to each and every one. All right. That's what I'll right. say. Yeah. Gary. Gary. Yeah, uh, yeah. Good night, good night uh, family. Uh, family. It was family. a pleasure being with you again. I know the time was a little short on my end today. Uh, busy day today. Uh, but uh, let's keep up the fight. And, you know, just remain fully engaged. I encourage you to do your best in your community. I mean, I've seen people consistently get in ambush. And I am, would like to recommend and reiterate this recommendation that you organize yourself in your community. We cannot fight this battle alone. We have to fight it collectively. So work with your neighbors in your community to help protect your own self. With that, I will say good night. And we'll see you on Saturday. Okay, cool. Um, since we have had this situation here, right? Um, Frederick Douglass says it's easier to build to build strong children than to repair broken men. Let me repeat that: it's easier to build strong children than to repair broken men. From where I said this is it, the clock on the wall said that's all. I like to say, but I've got to go. Remember, hard work beats talent. When talent does not work out, if every 60 seconds of anger, you lose one minute of happiness. See you. Same WZY time, same mm -hmm. WZY channel. Later. Diana? Okay, I'm going to do a brief poem I wrote, and it's from my first anthology uh, from 2017. And it's called War. I kind of adapted it to suit what's going on in Ukraine. War. Who said that it was right? that it is okay our neighbors to fight. What have we got to gain by causing our neighbors pain? There must be another route instead of aiming to shoot. What is the sense of going to war if it's policies you're aiming for? Why can't we instead come together, join our heads in a friendly manner, using peace as the banner to create a better world for our little boys and girls. Let your legacy be one to remember that you did not bring the world to the brink of cinder. President Putin, there's too much at stake. For goodness sake, let us strive for a peaceful world to make. This is Diana Benskin, your global ambassador and your poet, bidding you or Vida's in until we meet again. Stay safe, my beloved people. And thank uh, to the guests for appearing tonight, Rennie and um, the gentleman there. Uh, what's his name, Anson? Jason? And um, Swim Call. Thank you very much for joining us. Good night. Not hearing you. Not hearing you. No, I was trying to mute oh. my mic so before the camera is on noise. Ah, yeah. uh, hold on, eh? let me see this. Take sure. Lana, my monkey, not easy. We went to sleep, you're not sleeping, then I go and sleep. <laughs> what? What? Take sure these monkeys, buddy. Take sure see the monkey when you're pulling. The blanket over here when anybody call Rowling in. <laughs>
Y se volvió a oh, no. She always said this boy. And, and uh, keep your fingers crossed. They called me and said Saturday to come and pick up Stormy, my puppy. Yeah. So yeah, okay. I, I, I keep my finger crossed. <laughs> Lan Lana's closing comments. When one door closes, another door opens. Never give up. Always keep moving forward. Failures if you don't try. Love you all. Stay safe. God bless. Thank you, Lana. Nadia says, Ansem, Gary Foy sound good on the show. We need to see his face like Tommy. Gary, I hope you hear that. Now, Gary gone. <laughs> Gary gone, Nadia. Takesha, once again, once again, God has granted me life so I can be in the village. I pray God for these innocent people facing the world. I love being in the village. Be safe, everyone, and stand up for what's right. Full 100, Takesha. Full 100. Fish Tick says, Good night, everyone. A ship in harbor is safe, but that's not what it's built for. Have a great night and stay safe until Saturday we meet again. Thank you very much, Fish Tick. Uh, good night, Rose. All right. Good night, everyone. And some thanks for a wonderful show. God bless. Be safe, everyone. That shows. All right. We're going to go out with um, Johnny King tonight. Thank you, folks. It was a, it was a pleasure. And we go out with Johnny King. Johnny King, warmongers. This is Curry Dan Vines. Superpowers are locked in a battle, fighting for control. Creating a whole lot of trouble in this world.
others must obey their commands to be friends. This is Caribbean vibes. Superpowers want to colonize every country. Both like helpers to control your destiny. Never fight at home, but invade your land to play their war. This is Caribbean times. To help build their economies, their exporting warfare. Still guns to friends and enemies everywhere. Now there were heads burning Middle East and Africa. Thank <laughs> you. 